welcome back for more Wrong Way Up. I think this right is where we left off last up. week with everybody on toilets. I'm pretty sure this is significantly less Wrong Way Up than we had when we started last week. What do you mean when we started last week? In the middle, I think he means. Yeah. And well, but, that's usually when Capac starts on the stream, so it's in the middle, because <laughs> we will have been going for an hour or so, and then he wakes up. Although, he was here on time last week as well. I didn't but, say he wasn't here. I said he, oh, he yeah. wasn't How did this about my lateness when we've destroyed <laughs> half of our vehicle? We haven't destroyed half of our vehicle. We've destroyed a, a quarter of our vehicle. But it's have we even destroyed it? Could we not roll that down the hill and try and recover it? Uh, we could. I don't know. Is there power on it still? It's still be. got to find out hydrogen tanks on it i think if you try to roll it it's gonna go kaboom kaboom i think those have oh. vented by now that that sounds like a delightful way to start the stream doesn't it uh oh so if we do roll it roll this though i would advise moving what we have left over there <laughs> yes it has uh, power so this... it has okay. a substantial amount of power so we could fit have a, a gyro? gyro to it and roll it oh, i might need more than one gyro because this thing is heavy doesn't have a gyro anyway if it did have a gyro it it, it doesn't now yeah we'd need to add one um now wasted you did some investigation oh, uh, what what, after last what week. now i don't like where this is going already uh do you want to talk through the things you discovered about our rover train and potentially Ooh. contribute to why it's so wrong oh i found out even more things actually okay I'm 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 open for. It, it's got worse, basically. <laughs> okay, what? Start start with where it has gone bad. Where is wasted? Okay, not a single hitch on the entire thing is set up correctly, to How the extent that, that they're not even all at the same height. Yep. Wow. As you can see, the. You hitch remember the point at which we put loads of effort into repositioning the hitch on the front trailer because it was in the wrong place. Yeah. Well, it wasn't in the wrong place. It was in the <laughs> right place. Uh, and ever since we did that, it's had its hitch completely one block different to the remainder of the train. <laughs> How have we even gotten this far? <laughs> what I found particularly Brick good pulse. is as soon as you look at it side on, it's really obvious. Yeah. I just look at it now. Yep, those aren't at the same height. That's very, very clear. Front runway one block higher. Front uh, rear runway one block lower. Thanks, Kieran. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's one of the things that needs fixing. What well, uh, are the other things? Let's see. Instance? What else have we got? Well, as I mentioned, not a single hitch on the entire thing was set up correctly as far as any of its angles. Which, oh, oh yeah, the angles. Which way were you planning on having the hitch? Was it meant to be roll, pitch, then yaw? Or was it meant to be roll, yaw, then pitch? It was Going meant to be roll, back. pitch, yaw. Roll, pitch, yaw. Okay. But. So at least that we've aspect We've also discovered, just as a little fun extra, when you connect and disconnect grids together, which we do quite frequently, uh, it can randomize the settings on anything on the grid that's named the same as anything else on the grid. Oh. So you've, you've got something called Rotor 1, and then you connect two grids together, and that grid's also got a Rotor 1? Uh -huh. you, what your settings are going to be. Yep. And that's why we need to uniquely name everything on everything. And then just to add a final thing into the mix, uh, I discovered last night when working on something uh, for loading rovers sort of like car vending machine style <laughs> that um, our, our next trailer basically subgrids these days are just sometimes a bit recalcitrant and you can click go on on, on, on some device like a hinge or a rotor or whatever it might be uh, and it'll only do it to some of the group ah uh huh so possibly that my um wheel renaming might actually come in handy it's going to be necessary. Not huh. even come in handy. That is necessary to stop us from running into... It won't even stop it. It'll just help. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Brennislav. Um, 
Yeah. So there are a few things for us to fix. Uh, I'm also <laughs> looking at my pumpkin, and I kind of want to fix it. I think we should recover it after we've fixed enough of the rover to where we have somewhere to put it. Really, I mean, I guess the hangar is still here, but... Yeah. Not that I'm going to be able to land on it. I mean, give me half an hour. <laughs> I, I it, can... It's going to take that long to fix this up, because it, it's lost its gyros, and I need to replace its gyros and roll it down the hill, well, and then probably repair it from rolling it down the hill. Well, we need we need our, we need our order of operations here. So, first off, is any necessary repairs to cargo cargo networks and things Oops. on the existing rover. Second, do we want to recover planes and fix the runway first, or do we want to recover uh, the the stuck trailer up there? Oh yeah, the stuck trailer. Ooh, because uh... we could probably recover it and get it down here, or we can just grind it down s slowly. We also or we can just. Having uh, analysed the old wreckage a bit, um, we might want to consider where we're putting things at as well, because there is one place on this entire rover that is essentially invulnerable, and it's in between the wheels on the bottom. You won't find a single damaged thing the entire way down on that line. What the? Huh. Huh. I mean, that's where I put... I've been putting cargo and batteries and stuff when I so, get a chance. <laughs> Yeah, if we get options, shifting things into that position, yeah, conversely, and, it would be a really good place because it keeps the weight down too. And uh, Dee and I were talking just before about trying to shift some heavy armor and yeah, shift cargo mm -hmm. a bit. low and central as well. Thanks so much, Paramil. Thanks, Chris. Uh, yes, I'm sure more mayhem's coming. Thanks, Yuval. Um... All right. I guess we we fix the hitch. I'm gonna try and fix the hitch first, the front hitch. Um, I could right. move all the cargo from the front tractor down into that central row, like where it's a half block now, but could be a full block, because it seems to get away with being a full block. And we could just have a row of cargo containers down there. Unless that seems like a terrible idea. No, I think that's doable. Um, and then once we've got this sort of mobile, then we move it forward a bit and then try and roll the thing down the hill and see what happens. Seems good to me. I have queued up a bunch of steel plates because we ran out. Well, I mean, you could also take some of them from that, <laughs> from the crashed rover. Uh, um, I hesitate to do that because it's going to need a lot of ablative steel plates to roll down the hill. True. You also do have, <laughs> like, um, another 500 stuck-in drills on the front of your thing. Oh, that's plus right. the yeah, tons yeah, of yeah. drills on the front of mm -hmm. the Those tractor have to go well. away. do love a bit of ablative plating. Uh, apologies for the mess, but, yeah, that's on hard every broken object on the grid. It's not actually that much. Wait, what? Oh, is this a plug-in oh, you've got? that isn't bad at all. Uh, those, are, th those are the incomplete objects on the grid. It's actually really um, not that bad. And a lot of it's yeah. really odd because it's like the couch that Tex is sitting on is incomplete, for example. Oh, mm. shown on HUD everything. Um, yes. I've got you've got an H button to control that. Don't complain. <laughs> two points of order I'd like to make. We yes. seem to be very low on steel plates. And... We don't seem to have a renewable source of jetpack fuel at the moment. Uh, we, we do. do. There is one small hydrogen tank that uh, is set on stockpile. <laughs> you can drag your, your stuff into it and, and you'll be fine. By the way, we should turn off the hydrogen engines if they are on right now. I don't believe they are. I think, we, you t I think even you turned them off at the end of last week. At the end of last week, yep. yep. I don't remember anything. Ah, fuel. <laughs> You were, you were in a starvation fugue. I, yeah, I was, <laughs> I was in a bad place. I was like, I, so uh, for those who don't know, so I go, I, I wake up in the morning on Sundays, I go to church with my family and then I come home and I do this. And that day I did not eat breakfast and I did not eat at all during wrong way up. And so I was getting hangry basically. I mean, I'm usually salty. So like some of it's normal to eat salt, but last week was especially bad. I was watching over the video. I'm like, oh, I don't even want to be me right now.
uh, actually... I don't, uh, I don't know if it's going to oh. be necessary, but I'm just going to build a temporary drill that sticks off the front of the rover just so that we can get some stone. Okay, I'm, I'm pulling all the drills off the runway and yep. putting them into the cargo network right now. I've fixed the elevator, by the way. Not that we're going to be using it right now, but I have fixed it. It's something easy that I could fix. <laughs> um, I had some experiments last night that I did with the runway trailer that we would lose the hangar part of it, but we gain a lot more runway. But we'd have to do like I did with uh, Wasted's airplane. Was that was that part of last stream too? There's a lot that happened. Uh, where it kind of flips it off to the side so people can can land. We'd have to do that with all the airplanes. Mm. But we gain uh, 25 blocks of runway length or something like that. It's a lot. That is a lot. But I can also probably fudge in the existing design another 10? Probably. So, I don't know. I don't know what we want to do. Uh, I honestly don't know either. I guess, like, I think the I think the design you had before was perfectly sound. Um, okay. We had a pretty decent runway length. Most of the time, we could land on it. Um, and yes, in this particular instance, it might have been the thing that tipped us over the edge. But this is not terrain we should have been driving on. No. And I definitely um, share responsibility with with that with the people who decided to give someone like me directions. <laughs> but yes, I definitely uh, went the wrong way. You know, name of the series and all. Uh, D, on the topic of you running out of of you being hangry, uh, Hammerby asked, "Is it possible to airlift cookies to you?" But I feel like the easiest way to airlift cookies to you would be to bribe Nab to give them to you. Uh, you don't have to bribe her to do that. She does that all the time anyway. <laughs> but I mean, I have a PO box you can look up on my on my Discord. <laughs> so if you want to send me cookies, just make sure there's something that'll survive the trip. Nothing survives the trip these days. Postage takes so long. Ah, uh, I mean, it depends on the kind of cookie. Like, uh, snickerdoodles that we sent to a, a deployed service. Yeah, those uh, are pretty tolerant. Room. Yeah, those, those and well. Anzac cookies as well, Anzac biscuits. Um, because I mean they were, I presume Snickerdoodles, given the ingredients in them, were made for a pretty similar purpose. They were meant to last. Yeah. No, uh, okay. Anzac biscuits are the same sort of thing. They're a really simple biscuit that survives transit pretty well. Elevators back up. Um. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, just while I can, because I think the bigger the elevator is, the more, the, the better sortie speed we have, because we don't have to wiggle, wiggle, line up for those of us who made plans that are way too big. Just Me. be mindful of how far you're going over your wheelbase. I'm... And how much so you're going to potentially affect the elevation of that hinge that's possible. Right. The... I'm not going to go any back farther. I'm going to make it wider. I'm going to go, a, like, one more block this way, which is pretty much as... Basically, I'm taking it from almost as big as it can get to literally as big as it can get. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, one thing that I thought with the... given given our tr attempts to make the mass a bit better. Could you remake the majority of the elevator floor out of half blocks? Uh, I can do that. Because you use uh, half as much plate? Yeah, I, I'll, uh, much. I've, I've already made it, but I'll I'll unmake it, and that's, that's an easy fix. Just... Yeah, just trying to maximize what we can do now that we've realized that we yeah. should do something. <laughs> um, I also think that uh, maybe setting... Yeah, we also need to, I think, put turn the bits of the wheels down here, the, the sp wheel sprues, I guess. Those need to be heavy armor. 
Yeah, to get more weight down there. Capac, what are you up to right now? I'm recovering some lost materials. Ah, uh, some of the bits and pieces that have fallen, uh, that are separated from everything up there. Yeah. Um, if... I'm back, sorry about that. All That's right. right. Visit from one of my brother's children, I think the alarm will come. Inventory. Ah. Escort him back to bed. <laughs> Energy what time low. is it there for you at the moment, boys? Half past nine at night. Ah. And is my nephew, and he is seven. Yep. Uh, and so should be in bed by half past nine, and then he's supposed to stay there. <laughs> yeah, Not come wandering that. upstairs Inventory to visit Uncle John. Um, well, I was going to say, Kapak, if you get bored with recovery efforts, you could always, um... Blow something up? Well, <laughs> start start working on the moving heavy armor to low places on everything. And real oh, surely, cargo and batteries to that Surely gravity well. will take care of that for us. <laughs> yeah, but you've seen how gravity takes care of that for us. It is suboptimal. Alright, time to start renaming things as I go along, even if they're only temporary. Nope. Cannot type this morning. That's okay, I can never type. Although I will say that after uh, the shade you threw me in stream the other day, I have been making an effort to touch type, and I can do it. <laughs> Oh, good job. I'm just really bad at it. I genuinely didn't think I was throwing you shade. I was just shocked. Uh huh. You don't. I, mean, I know you don't believe me, but I, I genuinely wasn't. I was. I. It just. It seems. It seemed odd. Um, knowing how much time you spend with a computer, that it hadn't just happened. Do not mm -hmm. underestimate my laziness. <laughs> I will never understand why the half block is only available. Yeah. Is this fog or acid rain? I think it's fog. Fog. God, I need to lift the elevator. Of course, I've ground away my elevator. Dang it. That's a lot of clanging sounds. Yeah, it's me getting rid of badly damaged cargo that we don't need and isn't part of our connection. Ah. Rather than trying to repair it, because, yeah. It's in a weird place. We didn't need that extra storage. I don't think I added enough pistons to this thing I just built. Hmm. Are we, are we, am I missing build, but drill building? Yeah, I just oh. built a really lazy drill. Just because I was Where's like, there's stuff on side. You wanted my wagon tail again. The whole thing was no, going to No, work. no, 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 no. Flail. We've decided this is the best drill layout. It's like that, except with more bits that spin and hinges. <laughs> <laughs> Spinny bits are the best bits. This is, this is true. That's it's like so that tank obvious. from Top Gear that they... That, um, the, the mine Clarkson clearing? Uses, yeah, the mine clearing thing that Clarkson uses to go through walls. It's like that, except with drills. Uh, oh. Brilliant. Right. It's not very good, but it's brilliant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you you're right there, Kapak? Yeah. That's a long time to stand at the med bay. I needed energy. He's thirsty, man, you know. You know the Deep kid considered that always... thoughts. Yeah, it was it was like waiting for someone as a survival kid he was there that so long. I'm slurping up all those electrons. You're liking some of that soil in. Well, it comes in a range of uh, different flavors and colors. Turns out not only is soil and green people, but people are also soil and green. Amazing. If soil ain't green as people, then what are all the other colors made out of? I'll tell you when you're older. 
I don't know what that means. I just <laughs> felt like it fit there. Oh, very soupy. Well, that was weird. An instant teleport of part of a piston. Is this is the worst weather? <laughs> you just can't see anything. Easy drill doing something. Ooh, ow, ow. Did you just face plant into something? What are we I just drilling tried for? walking down the stairs and I fell off the rover. I don't know. Do we not need stuff? We have We've a lot got 50,000 iron. <laughs> I mean, nickel and silicon could be a bit better, but I'd worry about them when, when they're actually getting low. Oh. They're not used for that much. The thing we're missing, if anything, is cobalt. It was a force of habit for when we smash everything. And even that, we've got something. Uh, Still got 1.8k. It's not great, but it's enough. I can see a... In fact, we've got spare kit. I found spare silicon and spare cobalt. So, yeah. It's like, we just don't need the drill. We've got plenty. I found spare nickel. Yeah, we've got everything. Yeah, who's shooting? I hit the wrong button. Don't worry about it. <laughs> There's a CLG, the universal truth. Four and a half kilometers north, northeast. Uh-huh. Inventory full. I think we found the reality of things. Is Splitsy just likes building stuff on the end of his and... Who doesn't? I mean... Whether it's, it's needed fun. or not, he's just going to build it. Who doesn't? You telling me you don't? Exactly. In Agoris of War, I'm intentionally making every single one of my drill rids diff different. <laughs> I'm not allowed to duplicate myself, and that's getting awkward. Hence the flail. Ah. That's what happened when you're like, okay, I've built all the sensible ones. I'm going to have to do a stupid one now. Yeah. In our uh, Sonora series, I have built a grinder flail kind of thing. Not It uh, it spins, so it's, it's like a drill made out of grinders to salvage things. And it made it, I made it as a joke, and it works way better than it should. And so, of course, we put, like, disco lights all over it. That happened last night on Vanguard as well. Oh, nice. We, we, we built, like, uh, I built a little modular, like, like, repair and grinder and drill chip by detaching and reattaching hinges and leaving stuff like landing gear to the ceiling when I'm not using it. And then we put our large grid artillery guns on it. <laughs> uh, and it was supposed to explode because it's pistons and rotors and so on. And, and it didn't. It actually works quite well. Tiny little grid with two large grid artillery guns on arms. I love it. <laughs> kind of like the drill, or kind of like the turret that Capac made last week. Mm-hmm. Oh, the turret on a turret. It's not a turret on a turret in this case. I, I didn't go so far as to put a turret on there. They're, they're the actual large grid fixed guns. You mean my turret? But the fixed that... guns are bigger than the entire grid they're attached to. My turret that Splitsy destroyed in his witch hunt to find what was causing the problems. Yes, yes. Yeah, that one. Which find the general, clang find the general splitsy. Hey, it's not like any of you guys except for Capac were trying to stop me. Thou shalt not clang out splitsy. I was uh, <laughs> actively helping splitsy tear it apart. Exactly. <laughs> okay, elevator's been refit with half, half blocks. Cool. Oh, the fog's cleared up. One of the smoking batteries is see bad. again. At least we didn't lose our yield modules. We lost remarkably little. I know, right? 
it's it's really amazing how little we lost. It's almost like having armor around everything because we kept getting bombed. Save us, saved us a bit. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we have to thank the bots. Mm, that doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't at all. Theirs is a thankless existence, and it should stay that way. Ow. Ow. Kamek, was that you or was that wasted soundboard? That was me. So I ran out of fuel as I was coming down the hill and I hit the ground real hard, but I didn't die. But then I bounced off the hill into one of the wheel suspensions and it murderized me. Ah. You eventually had a sudden stop. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Black Shadow just said, Splitzy is getting better at crashing. The more you leave intact, the more you can break next time. Which is not wrong. I am getting some real weird latency with hinges. I'm getting. I was getting la latency with a piston. I yeah, I, that's not latency. This is a bit of what I was referring to. Like you mean when you tell it to do something and then it doesn't. No, and then it like and then it four teleports or five seconds later. and shows yeah. me where it actually is four mm -hmm. or five seconds later. In fact, I'm about to. I think show my chat exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe. This piston's just not moving. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, no, no, there we go, teleport. Oy. Yeah, the uh, no, elevator did that to me earlier. There was Having it last update. night, where I... Yeah, yesterday or the day before. Uh, so it may have been part of that because I was having this last night where I had, um, you know, a fairly typical hinge snake where, you know, one of the ones where it's designed to fold up for compactness. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I'd go, I'd select all the hinges, I'd click reverse on them, and all but whichever hinge was on the end of the chain would do it. And so three of the four would unfold, and then once all three of the four had unfolded, the fourth would unfold. But then reversing it the other way, it would be the hinge on the other end that was lost. And this is in single play. Inventory full. I sort of followed that, but then halfway through, I'm like, is Wasted doing a Rain Man impression? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, you just is. imagine you've, you've got you've got a <laughs> selection of four hinges in a row. Yep. But when you're unfurling them, hinge number one doesn't respond until th two, three, and four have actually done their thing. Ah. But when you're folding it back up again, hinges one, two, and three respond, and then four's the slow one. All right. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, does it? No. But then, if you depress the button three times, so if you press reverse, 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 all four hinges work. Ah. That just makes perfect sense now. It's got to spam the button. Yeah. This sounds, uh... This sounds like Space Engineers. Oh. Okay. My back. That's alright. Like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. No hydrogen fuel. Spent ages climbing onto the roof. Get up there and click oh. to weld just in time to hear. No energy. <laughs> Alright, back down we go. I'm right here. You can't tell me I'm not here. Well, I don't feel like it's very directed. Well, that's feels like, like more indirect energy at this point. I mean, to be honest, I probably should have named myself indirected energy because, man, I like direction in a lot of things. I can sympathize. You should have called, called yourself indirected Capac. 
What? That's impossible. It's directing Capac. Oh, I can't. I can't be any more indirected than I already am. It's a tautology. Tautology, yeah. This is true. I have directed you before, so I, I am familiar with your lack of it. I like how it's like, it's not every hinge and piston that does it, it's just like every third hinge or subgrid. It's like, no, 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 no. I, I refuse. You don't need that one. What are you talking about? This is just getting annoying. What is going on with my hot bars? Ah, uh, something's broken. There we go. Something's broken between that one and the next one. I don't know what it is, but it's broken. Energy low. Uh, I probably shouldn't spend too much time messing with the tractor, should I? I think, uh, I mean, have you already fixed the, no, you haven't fixed the height. I think that's what, that's what we're working on first, right? I yeah, I, I got you. distracted by fiddling with the front end of the tractor. I should probably stop that distraction. Speaking of uh, indirection. It's like Shaq's back with us. Hit T at some point. Ew. Oh, you fool! Ew. I don't know why that's even an option. Like it, it has never worked. It never will work. No, it's not true. I found a use for it recently. Did you? Yep. All right, a legitimate one. If you are bouncing up and down on the ground in the No Jetpack series, desperately trying to get a drill attached to something that's not quite in range, and so you don't have time <laughs> while it's on the block to rotate it round to point the right way, T will get it pointing straight down for you. <laughs> nice. Wow. It's a very specific use case that uh, is not supported by the game itself directly. You would have to, I don't know, Play figure one of out. The yeah, no jetpack is something you can do with the default game options, isn't it? So Yeah, and mm. it is in their default scenarios, the vanilla scenarios too. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, the Lost Colony. Actually, and um, Frostbite as well, isn't it? Low. Fuel critical. I'm running around recovering old pieces of runway to put back on the runway because it seems seems appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I can I can understand that. I'm doing something I think I I don't think I've ever done in this series. Well, Is not after the first episode. I'm Land flying around. Oh. <laughs> I'm flying inside the trailer, and I'm alive. <laughs> so initially I only went up like three or four blocks on the up parts of the runway. I think I'm going to increase that to like six, so the runway is going to have a taller roof, but we should have significantly more landing space. And then 
hopefully that'll be offset by all the heavy armor I'm going to put down at the bottom. I guess we'll find out. Basically, there's no way this goes wrong. Oh, this is not helpful. Start moving, Hinge, so I can see where you're at. Wait, no, I wanted to go positive. These laggy hinges are really off-putting. Agreed. Okay, uh. so who wants to watch me attach the front trailer to the, the... the tractor to the first trailer with two hinges at the same time? Oh, I'm sure this is... Actually, that's a really good idea. Huh. Yeah, do it. Is everybody ready for this? Do it. Have you thought about doing it with three? I hadn't, but now that you say it. Uh, Wasted, do you have any um, concerns? Last words? Reservations? Nah, I'd be fine. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a bit too yeah. That was anticlimactic. Yeah, but it could have been other things. There's a reason I, I was fun. flying just within the danger zone. Because oh, no, honestly, there's good. there's very little that's as entertaining as the uh, ragdolling of a space engineer corpse flying across your screen. <laughs> Especially was... when it's caused by Clang. Yeah. I was hoping for a free trip to orbit. And now we have to redo the walkways between them. We have to? Well, the or just the we. royal we? Oh, that's the flashing light. I was wondering what that was. Oh, okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Inventory full. Oh, boy. What did you do? And where did it blow up? <laughs> yeah, I thought I might be able to save everyone the trouble of gyroscoping the uh, the trailer to bring it down by deploying the umbrella. But I deployed the umbrella and it just... Dissolved into the ground? <laughs> no, it destroyed the hinge and just snapped off. Ah, <sighs> Capac. If you're gonna do stuff like that, at least tell us like I did so that we can watch you make mistakes. I was hoping to tell you when the rover came tumbling down the mountain towards you, but it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, you mean before it smashes into the middle of the runway and breaks everything that I've just been repairing? Yeah. Excellent. I wouldn't uh... want you to be unaware of something like that happening. <laughs> I'm sure I wouldn't notice until it happened. <laughs> I'm definitely not just stealing steel plates from the upside down trailer up here. That's not what I'm doing at all. Eh, seems logical. Of course you wouldn't steal from that. I figure it'll be, you know, I said something, something, a blade of plates, but honestly, looking at the inside, there's nothing to protect anymore. <laughs> so, uh. Ah. Well, uh, it's a waste of, uh, what was the roll angle that we were talking about having? Because it can compound so easily, it was only like, I don't know, 15, 20, just because you yeah. can end up with, you know, 20 plus 20 plus 20, and suddenly the back trailer's getting awfully close to 90 degrees.
and then the elevation hinge. Probably want to limit to like 30. Weren't they? I thought they were all at 15. And then we just increase it if we needed to, depending on the situation. Um, or am I misremembering? No, because the if that's the turn angle, we'll never be able to turn anything ever. Okay. The, the turn angles were like 45. I just know that I did find some that were at like 70 and I'm like, oh, that's yeah, not probably where it should be. Hmm. It's weird. But that's from whatever that glitch that's been introduced into Space Engineers. Because that's relatively new. I don't remember that happening yeah. before. It's, feels new to me. Granted, I don't usually build vehicles with 400 subgrids, but you know. <laughs> I do, and it is new. I wonder if it's worth uh, accepting the the larger turn radius just to avoid the jackknifing. Uh, I think it's going to limit. I frequently our need so much? the jackknifing to be able to turn and actually oh. get to the places we need to get to. Like the jackknifing is frequently enough deliberate. I'm just trying to push it okay. as close to the max angle that I can. Um, the the idea is that the angle on the hinge should stop us from getting stuff intersected with it and actually getting locked in that position, but up until that point, it's intentional. Okay. But we should just have those limits set so that it can't get the trailers stuck on each other. Uh, and my chat just reminded me I did not turn the hinges off. I knew Splitsy was the problem. <sighs> of course. <laughs> That's the bit he chooses to comment on. At least, in TeamSpeak. <laughs> yeah, he's been bad-mouthing me to his chat all morning. No, I haven't. I've been losing my voice because people are being generous. <laughs> uh, has the cargo system been disconnected? No. Uh, from... From which cargo? Not, not in oh, so I'm on the first trailer, and I yes. used to be able to fill up my bottles. One sec, from you, one sec. Yes, I did. You see, once again, who's the guilty party? The uh, unless I changed it, that hydrogen tank is on stockpile, and you won't be able to do that unless someone else has taken it off stockpile. There we go. We well, have to f fill through the cargo regardless because uh, we don't have the mod that allows you to fill through the med bay. Pull your bottles anyway. I've decided not to go with half blocks for the runway itself because it does tend to get mm. bombed. And, uh, I think the the larger the larger blocks will just help prevent like catastrophic failure of the runway where it collapses in on itself or something. Plus it the whole wheels clipping through things seems to be slightly less of a problem with yeah. full blocks. Ooh, we are gonna need to test the elevator with the half blocks. Although it doesn't, it only seems to happen if it's something sitting there for a while. So hopefully. Yeah. So all the grid updates and eventually one update puts it through the floor. Yeah.
Oh, I like it when it rains. Well, it's a good thing you're English. Which is not true. Why are you talking about rain? I think it's it kind raining. of is. Sort of alien rain, but it is rain. Hmm. I, I, I can see strange particles going sideways. I assume it's supposed to be rain, at least. I just see mistiness. Either that, or we're in hyperspace. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they are going kind of... Yeah, they go very horizontal. sideways, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. British rain. Yeah, it does look more like hyperspace things. Mm -hmm. It's like the little particles of when we're traveling fast. Like, just the normal SE fast particles. Now, this is what you see out the, out the front of 10 forward. Oh, yeah. We're waiting for Guinan to bring you a drink. Uh, actually, the soup is that we're breathing is actually the drink that she's bringing us. <laughs> it's green. That makes sense. It, it is green. I love that episode. Which one? The original one or the TNG one? Of It Is Green? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's a TNG crossover episode, so it's both. Well, that's true. But there was a, uh, in the original series, there was an It Is Green. Oh, is there? Was that there? the TNG I mean... episode was referring to. See, I'm not, I'm not as up to date on the original series stuff, because I, like, watched it all once, and then it was like, Okay, yeah, my childhood TNG is much better. I'm just going to keep watching this. This is kind of how I went with it. That's probably a fair approach, to be honest. TNG's a lot more, uh, I guess, timeless. Like, it, it's still dated. Like, hairstyles, oh my gosh. But, uh, <laughs> well, but like, I mean, the that, architecture and everything. It started off... Uh, uh, pretty dated with the hairstyles, but then it sort of mellowed out a bit as it went along. And yeah. this is when my you eyes. I mean, everyone got older over. and bald. <laughs> pretty much. Well, Bald's a pretty timeless hairstyle. <laughs> the first couple of seasons, the uh, hair and costume designs were very yes. much of the era. Yes. But I mean, that's. The original series is super guilty of that, too. <laughs> What do you mean women can wear pants? I don't believe you. I mean, something about desaturated footage makes it easier to get away with that. Yeah. Or that <laughs> when it's, when like... it's all grainy and like there's not enough colors, really. I figured it out. I figured it out. Merrick loves the original series. That's why everything has smudges all over the camera. Because it's after that 60s look where, you know, they, they bring the... Smudges all over the camera and a color range of like six colors in yeah. total. We've, we've, we've so he the... grew up on daytime soaps? Yeah, I guess. Huh. Like like seventies soaps and sixties soaps. Yeah. Yeah, because that's very very much seventies sixties camera work, not uh. And it, and it makes sense given that adults never change. No, never. I don't know which block's gonna look best here. I still find it so weird that. The original Star Trek was effectively bankrolled by, uh, like, Lucille Ball. Yeah. And I love Lucy. I mean, just goes to show that uh, she's super awesome. I mean, we already know, but still. Her. Sure. Was that a deliberate landing then wasted, or are you out of fuel? No, that was a deliberate landing. Okay. Just checking. Yeah, I'm playing the balancing game of, is it more sensible to carry lots of hydrogen tanks, or is it more sensible to only carry one and then forget constantly? Two is where I've landed with that. Yeah, two. Yeah, they take two's a nice lot of well. inventory space. They the do. Thing. I know. But for the number of times you have to climb that ladder, mm -hmm. wait, is the ladder in a workable position? Yes. Um, it just, oof. I'm not keen to climb up it all the time. I 
I'm going to try and make the front of this rover actually look interesting. Finally. How do you say interesting finally? We had a gonzo nose. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't a very good gonzo nose. I mean, that's still... It's interesting. Oh, true. Fair enough. Couldn't even fire itself out of a cannon. <laughs> that was Gonzo Useless. the Bad. I'm Gonzo the Great. That was supposed to be a Gonzo voice, we'll see. So uh, that was so out. bad. It's much better than I can do. I wish I could do a Gonzo voice. I feel like you and Gonzo would get along, Cap. Yep. Fuel low. I like chicken, he likes chicken. Fuel critical. Oh no. What's oh no, dear? Fuel low. <laughs> I made it though. Barely. Ah, the almost instant welding of it. Hey, who just took one of my... Of an elite ah, what the... Someone just took one of my hydrogen bottles. Yeah, that yeah. was me, because it, like, lagged out. I thought I'd actually left one behind, <laughs> but it turned out I had four. I went back to get another one, because I thought I had two. So greedy. My word. Capac, uh, the thief. I wonder he doesn't get anything welded. He's got no inventory space. It's all hydrogen bottles. Well, I like to not die when I fly. That's not a thing that's possible. That doesn't sound like you, Capac. I was about to say, evidence would suggest otherwise. Yeah. You can't take everything you hear in the tabloids as being true. Uh, I'm American, and 100% I can do that. I mean... If you're reading National Enquirer, it's fine. I mean, our, our news services are basically tabloids already, so whatever. I mean, if <sighs> I lived in America at this point, I would only be getting my news from the daily, the National Enquirer. Is that the crazy one with the Bat Boy? Uh, yes. Yeah. You haven't found an equivalent here, Capac? Um, they don't. They don't have the same feel. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, I have had interactions with Australian uh, kook equivalents, but... In Australia, those types more fit your uh, basement-dwelling nerd stereotypes, whereas... <laughs> National Enquirer, you'll just see Bat Boy staring at you off the shelves at the supermarket <laughs> as you wait at the checkout counter. This is true. <laughs> Isn't National Enquirer also what his lot's paper's called? What? Oh, um... It's something like that. I can't remember. I know that the one in the United States is not spelled like the word Enquirer. It's spelled the other way. So, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a legitimate paper that's, that has it spelled correctly, and that's why they're spelled wrong. Oh, it's private eye. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I've honestly never, uh, never opened one a tabloid before, so. Just seems like people that never left high school write them. Because it's just like a bunch of rumor mill stuff that doesn't even uh, matter. From what I can remember, my limited budget at the time went to more edifying publications like GamePro. <laughs> <laughs> How else were you going to get that that sweet, sweet cover magazine demo disc? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that, that was pre pre cover disc era. That was um, uh, that would have been Super Nintendo, uh, Sega Genesis era. Oh, wow, that's not pre cover disc era. It just means your cover disc at that point was a floppy or a tape <laughs> or a cassette and um, was for your Amiga. <laughs> I always forget that I play with a bunch of old men. 
and in the back would be a couple of phone numbers you could call up for definitely legitimate games. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, this is like peak uh, vaporware, isn't it? No, this is peak like. There's no such thing as DRM yet, so oh, oh, that people kind of just go, mm, interesting, your game comes on a floppy disk, does it? And I appear to have two floppy drives and a second floppy disk. <laughs> <laughs> How com complex will this be? And I also have a photocopier because turn to page 15 and read the line off number word 5 off line number 17 uh, is also something that's relatively easy to get around with the aid yeah. of uh, modern technology. <laughs> Man, that was weird. I actually had a photocopier at home for a while. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was like a proper big one too. Kind of still do. Kind of still do if you have a uh, all no, printer. No, this was like a direct photocopier. Like, yeah, it didn't do anything else. It photocopied no. or maybe did fax. Yeah. Uh, huh. No, I think I think the first one we had at home was just a photocopier. My dad was not very good with salespeople in electronics. I think it's the way to sum that up. <laughs> yeah, that was the only place you got your game patches from, was your cover CD. Yeah, that's... Sh I've, I've been adding a little bit of uh, length to the front of the rover, and I think it should be safe from nosing in because it should if it noses in at that angle it's like at a 70 degree downward angle and that would already be horribly bad it's not like we have seen that a few times already <laughs> <laughs> nothing bad has happened to this rover also that wonderful period of time where where games legislation was such that you weren't allowed to do things like sell Carmageddon without the zombie mode turned on so everything's green but it was also absolutely fine to sell a magazine advertising that its demo disc contained the patch that removed all of that safety stuff. Yeah. As long as they weren't <laughs> sold as a single package, you're all good. <laughs> Legislature is funny. All right, how comes the engineering? I've fixed the hitch. DE's made his... Oh, DE, you... Uh, that... Uh, that's really high. Yep. Like, really high. You planning on going under some bridges? I don't plan on a lot of things that have happened anyway. I think it's high is like this. What the mods have been missing out all this time. They didn't need planes, they didn't need bases. All they needed was a relatively low bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we could be in an episode of that, um, what was it, 11 foot 8 bridge YouTube mm -hmm. channel. Oh, I love those videos, just watching the trucks open themselves up like cans of beans. <laughs> like, like a sardine can, just peel it back. Why did I just hear a clangy sound? I don't know. Oh, because the wacky wavy inflatable fuel arm is having a oh, good time. It's be being wacky and wavy. Oh. I just saw the front trailer bounce up and down a little bit. I am going to repair my pumpkin now. Unacceptable. So you're gonna like cut holes in it in the shape of some kind of uh, spooky face. I think that's already happened. I'm going to now fill in those holes. So now it looks like a regular old pumpkin again. Except neon. Guess it depends where you get your pumpkins. Huh. If there would be a safe way to make a glow in the dark pumpkin. Yeah. So people can then carve it and look so I mean you have to cut it with something, but You mean like grow a glow in the dark pumpkin? Yeah. I mean I mean like grow, so the the, the whole pumpkin is glow in the darks. 
the world oh. is You don't need a candle in your jack o' lantern that, or a torch or anything. A sort. genetically engineered uh, bioluminescent flesh pumpkin. Yeah. Sounds safe. We basically just have to, like, scrape a bit of the skin off and it's already glowing inside. Yeah. I see no problem with this because I did specify it should be safe. Uh, speaking of safe... <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Should I activate this piston I've put on the fuel trailer to try to roll it down the hill? Go for uh, it. Full throttle. Full impulse power, I think. Is well, I'm, I'm watching now. Yeah, yeah, Max impulse and max speed when you do it. Hang on. Isn't that just going to detonate the uh, It'll detonate the head? the head, but not the piston. If it does roll... We already know where it ends up because we've done this once before. We should move the trailer before we do that. Uh, mm. Wasted, wasted. Seriously, <laughs> it it's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay. 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 I, I think I think Splitsy's not confident I'm in your ability. I'm fine with this because either this is Splitsy throwing what? shade or an opportunity for me to throw shade in about ten minutes. Mm -hmm. These numbers don't make any <laughs> sense. It's both of those things. And it just seems to scroll through them randomly. What? Eight kilonewtons. So scroll all the way up to the top. Energy. I, I tried it. Looped around. Press control and then all the way up to there. Ah, come back. What are you doing? I'm pressing control and I'm scrolling all the way up, and it's just okay. Camax actually does different. scroll all the way through. He went to Y newtons. What? Yeah. <laughs> I got, got Giga, Giga Newtons, Newtons, then I got Terra Newtons, then yep. I got Eta Newtons. Newtons. Hell yes. Then Exa Newtons. Well, so why are those in Zeta as... Newtons? And <laughs> Yento uh, uh, Yotta? Yotta Newtons, that's what it is. Does that mean somewhere into... in the space engineer's definitions what? they put <laughs> in the words for all of these things Newtons. at some point? What? <laughs> Am I not mistaken there? It means the definitions actually yeah. contain these words. Yeah, I think so. What the? Why do the definitions contain these Fine. words? <laughs> Four. <laughs> sure, come back. Just. 4.365 to the fifth Yotta Newton? Yep. Just left click on that. Confirm. Yep. Alright, I'm moving. Yotta Newton is, is something that we want. That sounds horrific. Yotta Newton is sound explosive. Yep. I'm going to stand back here. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a measure of explosive force It'll at that only point. let me do velocity five meters a second. Yeah, that's as fast as I can go. It's okay. All right, I'm watching. That's still a bit. Is everyone else watching? I'm watching. I got the wide shot. Wasted? Oh, yeah. You think I missed this? I'm in spectator immediately. So, I think this is going to be <laughs> anticlimactic. I think so, I too. Do. But do it. The planet explodes. Well... See? Told you you were safe, wasted. <laughs> that was a yacht of Newtons. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. <laughs> okay. okay. Now it's coming. You were saying? And it's coming down the hill. <laughs> you were saying? Because that's gaining. I mean, it's going the thank for it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. we're bouncing. Oh, are we It's coming? a bit we're... like we're playing golf with friends because it's going in oh. the hole. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Flattening out the train a little bit too. <laughs> where will it stop? Will it, it landed on right wheels? where it belongs. Yeah. Will it go on its wheels? No, it won't go on its wheels. <laughs> All right, Capac, flip it and attach it. Uh, Good job getting it down oh. the hill. Ow. I like how it clearly wasn't the piston that did it. It was the phantom forces generated by the piston brushing mm -hmm. near something. <laughs> that were pushing against go. the extents of its limits. Uh, yeah. Yep. Where is the. I just love that the gone? engineer on the beach towel is still alive and attached. Oh, I love it. I mean, the alive. Also, alive lucky is escape. Quotation marks. <laughs> oh, about to get squished. Yeah, ag agreed, wasted. It was a lucky uh. escape, but I was still <laughs> right. Kavak, you might want to retract that piston. Technically correct. The best it. kind of correct. Yes. Oh, is it destroyed? I don't see it anywhere. It's oh. gone. How are we going to stop a, this thing from rolling down the hill? There's a couple of big explosions. 
That's a man of hydrogen. Oh, good job. Yep, I think uh, Drop Dead Fred in my chat has called it. <laughs> the piston is in another dimension. <laughs> Some warp shenanigans going on. I believe this is how 40k was created. So much force. In three years from now, it will return as the ship of Vent Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> Back to what I was doing. Now, it looks like all the wheels are actually still intact, aren't they? That's amazing. Oh! This one did manage to take some damage in the middle, but I think it's because the hydrogen tank exploded. Yeah, there's at least one big hole in the bottom of it. Yeah. I think Capac's going to have some fun trying to write that without losing it all the way down the hill. Ah. Why did I take damage? Did you run into something? Uh, I was just standing here next to the med bay. Alright, time for me to roll this thing down the hill. What? What do you want? Ah. I weld me. You look like you need repairs. I mean, it's all right, Cap. We can fix you. Ah, uh, I can be the six million dollar Cap Act. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Means you can only move in slow mo from now on. Yeah, but it makes that, that weird sound effect when I do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Hammer V, Yotta Pistons are the best. You'd think at some point that gets rather impractical, announcing your arrival with rather clear sound effects, but, you know. Well, you see, the bad guys can't hear the sound effects because of the script. Ah, right, yes. Uh, which way do I need to roll this thing? And have I aligned the gyros so I can use them together? All right, X. Oh, here I come! Uh, where? I don't see what? any movement. I have flipped the pumpkin. Oh, oh, I haven't seen how much pumpkin there is left. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, I'm about to be a little less, looks like. Oh, nope, dodged it. There we go. Now let's just use Texas Crit. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Uh, give me just a little bit longer and you'll have a runway to land on. Cool. Uh, I need thrusters before I can take off. <laughs> so you've got plenty of time. Uh, thrusters are for wimps. Thrusters are for quitters, just like parachutes. <laughs> Wait. D, is Wish really bad or something? Wish is very bad. Wish is a, uh, wish is a. Uh, I think it's a Chinese. Because my my chat saying Capac is what you get when you order six million dollar man from Wish. Yeah. Oof, that's, wow. Yeah. That's harsh. <laughs> that's pretty harsh. I would guess that Wish is probably just prohibited from uh, doing business in Australia because Australia has some consumer consumer protection. Uh, and Wish no. just doesn't. Wish. Wish is around here. Um, they advertise on Facebook. That's never a good sign. Um, they, uh, there probably Have hasn't been enough cases Facebook. for them to uh, investigate it yet. Or they just, or people who are ordering from Wish just kind of like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's probably a bit of that as well. So it's kind of like Alibaba. 
Yes, but more like the Alibaba developed to fool people that think they found Alibaba. Oh, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's like the, the one that's easier to navigate and more shiny and makes way more sense. But that's all because it's selling a much smaller proportion of actually legitimate products. Ah, makes sense. Like, some of the Alibaba stuff is okay. Which is what happens when you get rid of all the interesting stuff that's got funny model numbers and so on, uh, and just have the socially acceptable stuff on there. Wish also sells some very uh, strange things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they'll but... advertise them on platforms that really shouldn't be advertised on. Wait, back when I used to actually use Facebook sometimes, one of yeah. the most entertaining things on the platform was saying what Wish was advertising me today. Oh, yeah. If you're uh, big on body pillows. Uh, or personal massagers, things like that, just show up. Like, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are. They're like, you want this, don't you? I'm Maybe so that's what I've we've been missing. Been on Facebook in, what, like, five years? Yeah, that black shadow. Blitzy body pillow. I thought, no, we need a cat pack body pillow first. <laughs> no, we gotta, get, we gotta give Tabura her, her slot here because it's like, like she's been in, in line for that for ages. Look, we can't tell people to get body pillows on Wish because they'll be lame knockoff body pillows. <laughs> is there any, it, is there a, lo a body pillow that isn't a lame knockoff? Like, yeah, they, they make them legit. I haven't seen them as a product on any of the merch type places though. I feel like a body pillow isn't actually legitimate mer merchandise. Uh, I'm no. talking about like a printed body pillow. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I would have thought there would have been, but I haven't seen one on like I've looked like when I've been setting up products on uh, Redbubble, on Teespring, which I don't want to use anymore because they're jerks and are they're rubbish. In NFTs. Yeah. Um and uh, like any, uh, there are a few others that I've looked at. What was the other one that I've, me I've been meaning to set up? Probably I can't remember now. It'll come to me eventually. But yeah, I've I've seen floor pillows. I've seen couch cushions. But I have never seen a body pillow. I, mean, like, I have seen dog bandanas though. One of the they're around. Does dog think, bandanas? They're around because I think Jesse Cox has got one. Because of course he has. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I I own a body pillow. But we no, I mean, he's got like, store, like you know? his his <laughs> merch stuff. It's like he's got a body pillow of himself, because Jesse. Oh, because of course he does. Oh yeah, you just need an orange an orange uh, space engineer body pillow. That's got to be the first body pillow in your shop. I'm pretty sure there's legitimate online retailers where you can get body pillows. You just have to learn Japanese to navigate their websites. No, and maternity <laughs> stores. Yeah, maternity well, stores. That's well, where yeah, we, but you're not, getting, where we get ours. you're not getting anime characters on those. Why not? Because uh, I don't think that any <laughs> of the maternity <laughs> store chains have done any deals with any <laughs> anime publishers. You don't know. Space engineers, well, space engineers body pillow, shaped like the space engineer. The 15 minutes after you're supposed to be up tells you that you're I don't know. Hydrogen is low. <laughs> Your hydrogen is low, isn't it? <laughs> ah, yes. Cheers, lady. Your inventory <laughs> is full. Wait, what? Oh, I, I, I managed oh to get man, my that would be such a good is low alarm. last night. Oh, did I you? I got my inventory is low last night because it, it was overlaying messages so heavily that it couldn't play them both <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Nab can do the uh, the Betty from the suit really, really well. It's, it, she she got me once where she she said it Inventory like full. in voice comms and I'm like no it's not oh no that's Nab it was great Inventory full Wow okay this runway is really something else It's up there isn't it uh, Is it even going to be able to deploy where we are at the moment uh, I mean probably not Well hang on Nope. I mean, D, your timing on the inventory full comments then was perfect because I was filling my inventory. Nice. Steel plant. What do I have in my inventory? Oh, I have. What that's the... why. 
I'm like grinding a... down. So what? Oh, wasted. That was the other thing that I was uh, wanting to bring up. You had a look at the mass of the different trailers. And it turned out that the fuel trailer was the heaviest by 100,000 kilograms. Not surprised. With the uh, runway trailer being next. Also not surprised. Hmm. I didn't make it any lighter just now. But it is problematic with the, um, the tractor being the second lightest thing. Do you want me to put the runway on the tractor? Yeah, the lightest of all of them was the crane trailer, and then second lightest was the front, and these are quite a lot, like half the weight of the back yeah. one. But I've added a fair bit of heavy armor up here, so hopefully that'll balance it out a bit more. Uh, also, the hitch position improving should stop a lot of the it's, We were lifting issues. ourselves, we were dragging yeah. ourselves around in a way that was almost forcing wheels off the ground, basically. Yeah. Which, of course, is not particularly helpful. Well, the the flaps are done. I've been painting Ah, them. the flaps, yes. I will now recreate the group. I will not deploy it because I think Capac's right. I think we're going to smack the mountain if I, if I deploy it. Yeah. Ailerons or oh, Capac, what's elevators? happening? What do you Neither mean? Those I'm just standing here. I thought you are doing stuff with the trailer. No. The, the fuel trailer's falling down the hill further. I'm just looking at the runway. <laughs> Aren't you trying to re reverse this thing so it could be attached? Nope. Oh. Are we are we abandoning it then? Uh. <laughs> my uh my four year old says I don't know the same way. I think it's abandoning itself. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah, it's abandoning us. I think is the deal. Yep. It's like I ain't going back. <laughs> there I mean, we go. No, sir. I've been part of that train. Us, or it's trying to rejoin us. Huh, it's a random bottle on the ground here. Ooh, that is making Ooh, some here noise. We go. It's now on its roof properly. You say that, it doesn't look like it wants to stay there. No, it wants to kind of jiggle back and forth there. Ow! <laughs> it did what happened? You just hit the ground. I thought... I thought somebody just pushed me off the runway, but there was nobody there. <laughs> I saw you just flying down there. <laughs> I think the uh... skeet shooting with DE. I got them both. I got them both. I, I was just amazed that I managed to... when I pushed you off that thing, I fell. And I hit my jetpack just in time to not bounce all over the place and went sideways, and you didn't see me. <laughs> Come back, are you out of hydrogen? No. I'm just walking around. <sighs> so, at this point, do we want to recover this thing? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know where going we're going to store anymore. any sort of fuel if we don't have... Like, where are we going to store the fuel? Do we store it uh, in that I, central row that Wasted Point about say, I mentioned it earlier. I think that's that is where it goes. I mean, we can't store <laughs> much though. Well, you don't need tons. Or do we? Or do we make a I new think... light trailer that just has a bit of storage there and nothing else? So, my thought, like my my original thought with the fuel, is we just have one or two tanks on each trailer, buried down central, where it's protected from weapons fire. To, to the point to where if something hits that, the trailer's probably destroyed anyway. Because small tanks are easier to, to guard. Um, yeah, there is one thing I should point out, though. We've had bots attack our wheels. We don't put it external. We put it inside still. But all right. it's, it's, just, it's just protected from weapons fire. So we take all the air out of the wheels and we fill them all with hydrogen. <laughs> Oh, that'll that'll go well. <laughs> that would be amazing. Everything would feel lighter. Uh, why is the ground here gonna be all squidgy? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna write the 
horrible trailer once I finish welding up these plates. Okay, I'm going to start on uh, going to heavy armor on the, the trailer bits down below the hangar. Yep, very, very carefully. <laughs> yep, one block at a time. Oh, I've got another enemy ping. Steve, stop and go. Seven and a half. Damn it, Steve. Clicks west, northwest. Traitor. Oh, yeah, Steve's actually working at the moment. It's been a while since I've had Steve set up. He has a stop and go? Apparently, that's where he went. Well, he's, he's, he does. He operates a bit of a chain of them. Cool. I wonder the if he sells The other one's on Omicron, any... and apparently he's now opened one on Percy Eye. I wonder if he sells any interesting flavors of Mountain Dew. Does he also do the ones on Agoras? Mm. There's a stop and go near my base on Agoras. Could do. Ooh, I know how I want to flip this. That's kind of a terrifying thing to hear. <laughs> Inventory. I'll be fine, I'm sure. What could go wrong? How how little faith you've all had in my hinge and piston contraptions, and how many of them have gone horrifyingly wrong. That's fair. Hmm. Aren't we standing on one? This is your hinge and piston contraption. Uh, I was more referring to how it ended up in this state. Oh, but that had nothing to do with my hinge and piston contraption. That's just my driving and my lack uh, of and directions. I seem to recall a piston being involved, one without a head on it. Oh yeah, that was that, was that my one too. Idea. I think that was my idea though. Okay. I like the new and improved elevator. Do you? Yeah, it feels much roomier now. Inventory it is. Full. It is bigger. You're never sure when Kabak says things like that whether he's being sarcastic, are you? Well, it's... It's more that I didn't think it changed it that much, but I guess even going one block wider is two and a half meters more, and that's a significant amount of surface area. Oops. Only I had a plane to use it with. Well, I mean, you do keep crashing them. Inventory full. I don't keep crashing them. Other things happen to them as well. I Not mean, just crashes. You've got a plane. There is a plane that's sort of intended for you, except you're just not the pilot. Yeah, but that's not the same. Inventory. Because it's full. still in existence. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You left yourself way open for that one. That's it. I'm filing my transfer papers to another unit. <laughs> He's going to be a bot. Energy low. I think he already is. He's returning. He's returning to his propaganda roots. What was that? Are you making implications about my loyalty? No. I, I'm not making implications. Implications that copies of copies of copies enemy. start to go terribly wrong. So by now you surely must be a bot. Uh, we're rather than into a clone. control place. Copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. I mean, that is a really good Nine Inch Nails song. Yeah, that too. Hmm. I wonder if that was intentional. I don't know. I hadn't even put those two together in, until this point. Huh. Neither would I. They're listening to our comms again, of course. We all need to learn another language. Like... And then our audience needs to as well. Oh, right. <laughs> what if we just switch all of their... Like, next time we find one, we just capture them and just switch it into Spanish mode? Uh, I'd prefer to switch them to Ikea mode. It's more confusing. Oh, yeah, there you go. Dang it, that's not gonna work. I need to lift it higher. Oh. Mm. Mm. No. 
bed already. Is there still a ladder on the forward rover? Yep. Okay. I wish Betty would tell us that our fuel is low at like 25% fuel instead of 3% fuel. Yep. So, for Survival Impossible, um, I was very generously made a mod that uh, puts a big flashing O2 warning up on my HUD at 75%. Oh. Um, surely the same could be done for hydrogen. Probably. So, I wonder if that could be a thing. Like, we're using the modern and clean HUD in this. Um, I wonder if that could be an optional thing for that. Or for some of the other HUD mods out there. Because even if it's not a verbal warning, at least then you get a bright thing flashing in your face saying, you might want to refuel now. Yeah. Though, is it, done. I, I also wonder, is it as bad when you aren't streaming or making videos? Like, is it as hard to remember? Yes. Oh, no. Nightbot Although, thinks I'm offline again. <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be to be fair, I don't play this game unless I'm streaming or making videos, really. It's been a while since I have. What the... Um, Energy critical. Are you trying to just lift this thing straight up into the air, or are you trying to flip it over? I'm going to flip it over, just trust me. I've got a plan. Mm. Never trust us, let's see. Alright. I just want to be, point out that I was not the first person to say like and subscribe in this stream. The bots are doing it now, too. It's all right. Sh ah! ah. <laughs> what the? What? I don't know what happened, but I'm happy it did. <laughs> I think the mag lock just exploded. Or maybe it was I've never heard more head. all right in my life. Uh, probably should have shared inertia tensor on a couple of things. Oh, no, sure? that helped, yeah. I'm way better. Jiggle, 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 yeah, jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, it was a bit more flopsy than I expected when I attached it to two pistons. I see a flaw in the placement of your rotor. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that too. Uh, I'll just get rid of it. Uh, yeah, good point. I'll just get rid of this. Inventory. It's fine. Full. It's fine. The solution to everything Inventory is removing full. the solar panel. But I like, like, the solution to everything <laughs> seems to be we're going to recover this thing intact, but let me just grind half of it down so that I can get it to flip over. <laughs> Something like that. Only, only, <laughs> only. Hey, no one else was doing anything with this thing. I was grinding it down and using it for parts to fix the runway. <laughs> and the question really is how many Yento Newtons are you planning to use? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> this is Thanks, true. Dave. Thanks, Dragnon. <laughs> oh, my chat's now saying he isn't trusting me what got us into this in the first place. No, me trusting directions I was given was what got us into this direction. And people trusting me to take directions. Well, and and there is a very clear clip from last episode where uh, just before we roll down the hill and get into this mess, Splitsy says, "Then this bit's all my fault." Yeah, that that yep. last little bit definitely was. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't matter whose fault it was. You said that, so <laughs> we now <laughs> winning have some... by default. We now have some kinetic art. Yeah, wonderful. Should we just leave it there for the bots? <laughs> Put a like and subscribe. I quite on the like the way the uh, the sparks rain down from it. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Like an electric shower. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna do this. Oh boy. Uh, Ooh. further back. Stand further back. Oh god. Back. Oh, that's that's. I got near it. Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now detach rotor head. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh, Capac, why? Actually, you don't even have the pistons at full extension. Cuz it's more it's more exciting when it's close to the ground. 
The thing is, with the solar panels on it, I think that thing will just kind of keep spinning forever. Yeah, probably. Come back, don't. <laughs> I see what you're doing. It is like one of those carnival rides. Oh, God. He's going to do it. He's going to try and shoot it on. off. He's, yeah, he's got his rifle out. Huh? You're trying to shoot it off, make it land shoot on its wheels. Shoot the rotor head. <laughs> no, just shoot. All you have to do is shoot the block that the rotor is attached to. Oh, one shot roll. Uh, are you ready? Oh. There. Whoa! What? <laughs> Whoa. That's amazing! I thought That's that would so make weird. a little, a little extra something something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hang on. Let me screenshot this. Okay, now oh, I'm this is incredible to destroy it. Now I have my thumbnail for this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. Uh, oh man. Oh man. I, I'm just waiting to see if Capac ends up actually shooting it or if he's gonna. <laughs> oh, yep. Well, there, there it goes. goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and it's gonna end up on, right back on its roof. Oh. Mm. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. Oh, it's Ooh. it's driving Ooh. off. Hang it's on, gonna, hang on. It's gonna hang beat on. us to the pole. <laughs> hang on. Whoa. Okay. Made a bit of a crater over here. Oh, that was the Recovered wrong way to have brought it. For certain values of intact. <laughs> Oh, the wheels don't have enough grip. So I take it we're not taking this trailer with us then. I guess not. Yeah. I mean, it'll always not be lot. with us in spirit. Go on, Kavak, go like push we, the wheels. It's not like we built. Uh, we spent like half an episode building or anything, Kavak. Yeah, I mean, it's you two losing what you built. Yeah, uh, that's all in the past. I don't even remember it. Uh, Kapak, you're gonna give it a Whoa, fitting send-off? pretty weird. What's that? You inside one of the wheels or something? Oh, I'm in the... Ow! Ow! Ow. Hey! I was getting stuff. <laughs> Apparently when I grind stuff on that trailer now, all I get is scrap. Well, uh, that's what happens when you grind broken stuff. I think I found a portal to another dimension. Where I think this is you? where the piston went. Oh, he's inside the thing. Ow! What the? <laughs> How rude. Worth it. I was enjoying that presumably non-ionizing radiation. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't realize it was me, but I couldn't help but laugh straight away. Yeah, it kind of gave it away. <laughs> I think the pot just gave us a, are you going to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do some more funny things to this stuff. If we're throwing it away, it's got to be given a chance to get itself down the hill. Okay. I'm not sure these one does equate to a, a longer runway. How wide yeah. is this? Really? Yeah. How much? It's, it's, I'm trying to figure out how you've got extra out of it, but I'm not seeing where. Is I guess this is the bit that's longer. Yep, that's longer. Significantly. It was like three or four blocks last time, and now it's nine. And because they tilt out a little bit, I think I've, I've got no, uh, no. one more, one or two more blocks of space. I think I have two more blocks of space up top, too. How? Because, see, look, if you look at no, it... No, no, no. Where well? I am, where we were... Where, where did you go? I ran out of hydrogen. 
and ah. fell almost 50 meters and survived. Huh. Hey, you're well. surviving falls now, Wasted. What on earth is going on? Uh, uh, whoa, <laughs> off it goes. Oh, oh goodbye. <laughs> oh no, come on, roll oh, all no. the way over. Roll all the way over. Wasted's about to roll another trailer down the hillside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa, it stopped again. There goes a tree. Make sure you record all the trees so that uh, Nutzel knows what the count is. Okay, all the. Uh, pontoons which Ooh. hold the wheels on the hangar trailer have now been replaced with heavy armor. I'm trying to see where else I want to put some heavy armor in. Uh, backwards. <laughs> backwards. <laughs> oh, it left a piston behind. Alright, we're definitely not... Ooh. Definitely not retrieving this one. What the? <laughs> it was almost flying for a second there. Yeah. Between between the pistons and the wheels on override, no, it's doing funny things. I should probably be doing something more productive right now, but. Someone suggested we weren't going to keep this, so this is what I'm doing. Oh. Ow. You ran out of hydrogen? I ran out of hydrogen and smashed into the ground, and then the game realized that I actually do have hydrogen and refilled my hydrogen. Huh. Kind of it. Getting all my clang sacrifices out of the way, that's what I'm doing. No. It's not length on that. Look. See, at this point, I'm thinking surely there's got to be a way you could make some kind of like pistons hanging off the edges of the runway up there. What do you mean? So we could suspend planes in the... in all this space. Except that this is going to be where... that I can't put pistons up there. Ooh. Because that's the Hold on. fly deck. Hold on. Oh boy. Full. Uh, the sounds of a uh, Capac's brain working overtime. Terrifying. Um, do we... Okay, so we've... All we need to do now is recover the pumpkin, and then we can start moving towards yeah. the ice lake. Yep. How do we want to recover the pumpkin? Uh, do I guess I can try to land it. One of the, uh, we have to move the rover then, because we will hit the mountain with the uh, new runway. Thanks, Memento Mori. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, okay then. Well, since I'm clearly getting pushed to do something useful, I'm first going to do something very not useful. Oh, good. Welcome to the club. Um. <laughs> well said, Kamek. Oh, hey, someone repaired all the uh, all the magnetic plates. Sweet. You're welcome. Thank you. Paired and replaced and got off HUD because they were annoying me. Alrighty. I also um, fixed the connection that goes back to the second assembler that was breaking half of our production. <laughs> yay. Could, um, could everyone please join me down at the Kaboom Kaboom? I'm already there. Okay. Well, I'm not there, but... You know what I mean. I'm there in spirit. Uh, how far has it gone? Eh, uh, fair way. Oh, there it is. Almost into the ravine. Yeah. Are you going to knock it off the edge? Soon to be less, almost, yeah. Uh, 
I'm not sure. I'll be honest. Maximum sure piston velocity. Distance. That's already been done, and that's what's led it to this position. Reverse, reverse. Boing. Oh, no. He's got a more violent solution. Hang on. Let me save some of these. Hold on. Ow. What if you get... What if you get two interdimensional Ten. pistons? Nine. Oh. Eight. Seven. Oh, ah. Six. <laughs> Run away. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We have liftoff. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Well done. Yeah. Oh, now that. Oh, go oh, those clank oh, sparks. Oh. <laughs> there we go. All right. Fox can have it now. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Oh. But wait, there's more. Da 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 da. Five, four, three, two, one. Kaboom! Okay. Now I'm done. Let's see his game catharsis. <laughs> Plus 40 happiness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So the uh, the trailer's current state, the hangar trailer, does look positively ludicrous. <laughs> yes. I love yes, it. Yes, it does. What the? Ow. Oh. Ow. Now, D, if I ever get upset with you for using expensive ammo, just remind me I did that. Oh, I will. You know I will. Oh, yeah, I just told you to. You gotta do what you're told. Oh, they're gonna ticket us. We'll give them all the space bucks they asked for. <laughs> uh... Alright, so I suppose I should get rid of my pointless drill then. Well, I, don't have I to. had 82% hydrogen in my bottle. Why did I run out of hydrogen and die? Because <laughs> you, your uh, life is there. Honey. Inventory full. See, Wasted's enjoying your pain. Oh, most yeah, people much. enjoy capex pain. Yeah, that's kind of that's capex deal. I'm pretty sure he made a deal with the devil at some point, the, where it was like, I want to be able to enjoy the horrible things that happen to me, or I want there to be joy to come from the horrible things that happen to me. But it's just joy for everybody else. I mean, that wasn't the devil. That was Germans. It's called Schadenfreude. <laughs> 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 so we're we comparing at some point <laughs> just some Germans showed up I especially love that because there are actually more Germans watching this than Australians. I, I thought for a second that you were going to say there's actually more Germans watching this than devils. Uh, <laughs> uh, <I> was... <laughs> Correct. Yep. Good observation. I like it. I 10 mean, out of 10. Are we sure? <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm sure about the German more Germans than Australians bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wasted. What? Some of your Why wheels are only me? held on by a single plate. But my wheels? I have wheels? Your, your trailer. No, this is Texas I've trailer. Got, I've been working on all the trailers. I wasn't aware. It was like, okay, we only work on our own. No, I wasn't saying that. I was just like, Oof, that was almost real bad. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, some of that. I keep doing that. Okay. Dog mode like Zoidberg, right but can't be bothered. <laughs> 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 
And yes, I might have been doing the crab hands thing as I did that. Okay, I can bring this back. Uh, Kabak. Yeah. Do you remember how you made the thing that looked like um, the head of... What kind of... What? The, the, the spotlight head that looked a bit like a weird robotic turtle. Uh... I can't remember how you built it. I'm just trying to think of how I could incorporate that on the front here, and I'm not sure I can. Uh, I don't remember. That was like a million years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Inventory full. Um... Right, so I need to move... Actually... Hmm... Capac, do you want to drive? Uh... Is that a trick question? <laughs> no, it's a genuine Probably. question. Do you want to? Hmm... What's this terrain like? Not particularly. Okay. Looking at the terrain. Um, do you not want to drive, Splitzy? Because hmm. I'll, I'll I'll give it a shot. Yeah, we, we've we've seen what happens when laggy drives. Well, I'm lagging so much that my hydrogen bottles aren't refilling before I fall to the ground and die. So maybe no, I, I shouldn't don't, be don't. driving. Um, where's the do? You, where's your plane? Sensibly at the top of the hill, you've been rolling things down. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to scout a route? And maybe this time, D, you could give me instructions that are. Capac, what are you building? Splitsy appropriate. I had an idea. Oh, God. Are you putting he's... a crane here? Capac's building something weird enough that D is concerned. Also, why is it blue? Uh, that's just why the color I've got on at the moment. Is this is this where you're gonna do your dance? What are you doing, Kavak? He's had an idea. Leave him. That's fine. Uh, that's probably. Like this? Uh... Yeah, sure. That, that's the uh, okay, the, dance the runway disco dance uh, extendable platform. Uh, like, TM. if you're thinking of putting a crane there, that's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, all right, so I'll, I'll rough out roughly what I'm thinking. So, so you know how we've been sticking like mag locks on the side of the runway and stuff to attach planes to. Okay. So we make like an extendable sort of armature up here that we can lock planes to and then extend and store them in the cavity of the closed runway so they're protected from the rain okay and you could still well, land and take off planes underneath them no absolutely not you if can't land underneath over, something yeah. well you extended the runway so there should be plenty of room If you made, if this was on a hinge, and it can't, it would come here, and then you dock a plane, extend it, fold it over, then yes. But then I have no idea how we stow it. Because you can't, you can't land under something. That's a really terrible idea. <laughs> Yeah, you can, because if, if you're doing a proper, like, if you're doing a proper landing, then you can land underneath them. If you're doing a belly flop splitsy landing, then you just hey, land I've on... I've done the most proper uh, landing of if... anyone, thank you. I've also I'm done the disagree. most belly flops. Oh, I disagree with both of those. Hey! <laughs> I think my landing but, 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 last week was pretty good, honestly. The important part is that this aerodynamics mod models ground effect, and so when you go over a surface, it'll give you lift suddenly. Yeah. So and having something above badly. means that the second you go over the runway and suddenly get lift and go up, you go up into the roof. All right. 
All right, I will take that into account with my... With your design. Design, yep. yeah. Let me see. All right, so I'm driving forward a bit to try and get us a bit of level ground so I can land the pumpkin. Yeah, all right? and you've moved the pumpkin out from underneath the, the I death have, wheels? yes. Okay. Well, sort of. It's about three inches out from underneath the death wheels. Yeah. You know what? He's driving, it's fine. Speaking of, I'm driving. Let me go stay on top of our new crow's nest. <laughs> oh, you can see for ages up here. Um, I'm guessing down here. Uh, don't go forward. Don't don't go to your right because there's a ravine kind of thing. You'll have to turn. Yeah, I'm trying left. to turn left. Okay. Uh, we didn't fall into the best. I mean, it's better than where we came from. Oh, hold up, but... hold up, hold up. Um, straight ahead of us. If I just go a little bit straight and then turn right. There is a smooth path past what is a ravine the rest of the way down towards the middle ravine. You're talking about like this spot right here where I'm floating? Yeah. Berg. Mm. Uh, and I could kind of continue along until where it gets to the green bit where yeah, it's somewhat level. Yeah, serpentine enough. I think. Ooh. Uh, a <laughs> uh, little farther forward gets a little hairy but I think we can make it. Those are some noises. Um... I really wish we just stayed on the other side of the ravine. <laughs> yeah, well. If wishes were fishes or something. I, I'm glad they're not. That'd be weird. I mean, the uh, other option I can see from here is we drive straight down the hill and I get into the canyon at the bottom, but then I think our wheelbase is too broad. Oh, forward it is. Because no one said it. Okay. There. I mean, it's just... There's no real good path no. at this point. No. It is funny, standing up here, if I stand in the middle of the boulder runway, I actually can't see any of the rest of the trailer at all. Or trailers. There's, there's nothing but the runway. Are you thinking about trying to turn that corner? Yeah, just um, all the wheel strengths are funky from... Uh, oh, from what we were doing, yeah. yeah. Um, actually, uh, oh no, we're way too crooked to... We can deploy the runway now, but we're way too crooked to... <laughs> yeah, I can't land. land on that. Well, you could land up. Yeah. Well, it's that it's kind of sideways crooked. Uh, somewhere I thought it was the best uh, one. Mm, no, it's pretty. Well, I heard. We got a pretty good pitch forward as well. I didn't say I was the best at landing. I said I'd done the the best landing. No, that's what I, I don't I've also done have. the worst landings. Uh no, I think I've done the worst landings when I split my plane in half. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a bad takeoff though? The worst. No, no, no. It was the the. Oh, I was both, both, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to take off, and then I got stuck, <laughs> slid sideways. You, you tugged and lift up, lift up its name twice. Yes. That, that's why the design has been retired. Okay, now my wheels are steering in the correct directions, because the weight shift has made it funky. Oh, this is... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the really, really high thing. I so it's mostly hollow, right? So the it's not gonna be too bad. And like one of the reasons I I mean, we've actually, lost almost a million kilograms of weight, so I'm able to move a lot better. So what you're saying is the next time we have problems, we just need to roll down a mountain. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am saying that. Well, and also probably fix the hitch issues, because I'm, I'm watching it. It is it is moving so much better right now than <laughs> it does. Yeah, million kilos, fix the hitches. 
Oh, 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 I see the bit that you. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, well, I think the runway I can get relatively level here, so. Uh, let me get on it. It's actually pretty good right here. Oh boy. Reasonably good. Let me see if we got clearance. Yeah, we do. Uh, you're only going to be able to land and take off in one direction. That's fine. I just need to land. Alright, if you guys deploy that, um, Kapak, do you want to join me for the landing? Or wasted? Or do you? Um, I'm not going to get in with you. I'll watch I can. No. Oh. I see no reason to put myself in the plane with you. <laughs> you know, for a bit of interest. Hey, D, your did the, yours did the thing as well. See how that last bit yeah. is that only yeah. unfolding yeah. now? Yeah. That's yeah. exactly yeah. what I was talking about. All right, you're all just going to watch me from the runway. And, and I bet you no, when no, you I close it, in. it'll I be can. a different hinge that's lost. Wow, okay. That's definitely a runway. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Look at how long that thing is. That's enormous. Now it's even I more embarrassing even... when I miss. I bet you even Elon... Thanks, oh, I was Aaron. trying to get into the airplane. Whatever. I'll stand in the middle. Sorry. I was a bit too quick. I was making sure everything deployed properly and it was all flush. Capac is doing his best to make sure the center of gravity stays as high as possible with his new contraption. Well, yeah, and I also mean, giving me something to clip my wing on. If you clip your wing on that, you're pretty talented, I'm going to say. I, I'd be more worried about the go-around. If you have to go around, stand straight up and just go. Looking pretty good. Gonna kill me? He is. No, he's not. I go right under him. There we go. Landing. Hey, that was a proper landing. Look at that. And you still have a whole runway segment left. I know. It's just like magic. I've also managed to get the elevator completely flush with the deck here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 definitely whoa, is a bit whoa, downhill. Whoa, 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 uh. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think is the quote. All right, I'm parked on the elevator. Down you go. Look how roomy that elevator is now. Uh oh, uh, wacky inflatable fuel arms in my way there. Uh, yeah, right. well, I I just rebuilt the entire thing. <laughs> You know I had to complain about something. Because yeah, that was actually I mean, pretty sweet. To. That worked that worked really well. I was okay. that was great. I think this is my preferred parking spot. Yeah, it's a good spot, and the wild whacking inflatable fuel boom can actually reach you there, so. Okay. Well, I'm parked. That means we can uh continue on. Unless uh wasted, you're gonna come come in for a landing or you're gonna go scout. Which would you prefer? Uh which would you prefer? Mm. Maybe a bit of scouting, at least initially. Sure. I, I, get, I wonder if the hinge speed is wrong on that one. I think the speed's bad on this one, is what's going on. Uh, I think I've only got one choice of how to get out of here, but the next section... There seem to be a few options. Nope. Speed's not bad. It's literally, it's just whatever it is. It was that same segment again and it's slow. Yes. Yeah, you were. As I said, that seems to be just a thing now. Mm. Um... I'll play spotter up top here. Well, Ooh. this bit's going to get a bit hairy because that looks very sinky. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is going to be that bad. I think it's going to be one of those things where you're going to have to just... There's going to be a point where you're going to have to gun it. Yeah, I'm just trying to line up some wheels with some yeah. bits that don't dig in. It actually looks pretty good. There you go. Hey, that wasn't too bad at all. No treat. Bad treat. Bad time for treat. Hey. That was pretty good. Yeah. That's like how I remember this thing's supposed to drive. Uh, Wasted, I've got a much nicer spot for you to land now if you want to. If you think you've found a route for us to take. Uh, I, I've only just got to the plane. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, also, Splitsy, just go ahead and delete that breadcrumb GPS. You must understand, getting on and off the vehicle when it's moving is impossible. I have to wait until a moment where you stop, and I can actually escape oh, the walls. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um... Do you want to take your panther up and scout as well? I can? Sure. That way we can have competing routes and I can be even more confused. Will there be enough uh, space over the runway for us to land when we come back? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't uh, think Capac's left enough space for Wasted's wingspan. No, he hasn't. Wasted's wing will get knocked right off by that. Uh, you might have oh. wanted to instead, Capac, put a horizontal piston where this one is, and then you'd only need landing gear on this section, because then you no. push it out of the way. What? That doesn't make any sense. So at the moment, you've got pistons bringing it back in so that you can grab stuff and then pull it back. If no, that's not what those are for. What are they for? That's so they can be stored up on this deck underneath the runway. So that they don't get acid rained, and I'm dead. Oh no, I survived. <laughs> well, yeah, but you could achieve the same thing by having a piston down here, what? horizontally, and then having no, your frame no, go I straight couldn't. over the top of the elevator. Because you can push it out of the way when it needs to be out of the way, but then bring it back in when it needs to be covered by the acid rain. Wrong. No, wrong. I mean, I'm not wrong, but whatever. Someone else can have that argument with Capac. I can't be bothered. <laughs> uh. Okay. It's a wasted. Are you at your plane? I am. Are you flying? Not yet. Sorry, I got slightly d distracted pointing out to my chat that my glider does something that Drago says isn't supposed to be possible in the aerodynamics one. Which is... I have, great, I have greater lift than I have drag. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have... Yeah, my lift ratio is higher than my drag ratio, which is not supposed to be possible. Where are you parked? Fuel low. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hello. Hello? Where is he? Do you have a beacon? Oh. It got shot off, remember? I haven't replaced it yet. Oh. Should have remembered to bring parts with you? me, but... Uh, uh, the top the flat bit before we fell down. I don't remember where that is. Nice to see my camouflage is working. Fuel low. Also, I'm noticing that if you use your jetpack in multiple directions at once, the jetpack lady says your fuel low is low when it's filling off tanks, so that's probably how Capac keeps running out. Uh. Huh, I'm sinking real bad into the... Where is he? Um, Can I have a GPS wasted? Yeah, I was just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you are. That I seems am... about right, as I get the GPS. <laughs> it's I always the way, sunk. isn't it? You, 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 you molded. You are now one with the, one with the runway. I don't... Well, I'm going to copy-paste, because that, that never happened before. And now it's happening. I figured, if Wasted's going to scout a route, I may as well be there to see it. Cool. Especially since I, you may land, or even if not, you can... Uh, drop me off as I as you fly over the thing. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm in my uh, upside down seat. <laughs> Show off. All right, what are we looking at here? So 
we're trying to get down oh. to the ice lake, and we've got... I'll hold you nice and stable. <sighs> I'm, I'm doing this from first person, because <laughs> it's actually not a bad view for this. Mm-hmm. I do have a camera pointing that way as well. Path down. Do I... I think I... Ooh. There doesn't seem to be a nice way down on this side. I think maybe we try and go round the mountain? What do you reckon, Wasted? Like, swing a right and keep going around the mountain? Find a different well, way Let's down. go and have a look, but I don't like the look of what's over there. I cannot take off in this. The, uh, the deck tilt is too much. I keep rolling all over the thing. I almost uh, fell off the elevator twice. Okay. Let's go, it, let's go and have a look. Sorry. It's, that's fine. It's really weird because it's behaving strangely compared to how it did the last time. Like, things are sinking into the deck even more. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I don't know. that's not good. Uh, although I think Wasted has proven his point that this way is worse. Because this seems to just devolve into rock. This this just devolves into nothing we can drive over by the looks of things. Like, yep. it, it's alright for a little bit, and then we hit this crest, and no thanks. <laughs> so, Wasted, do you think we try and go along the ridgeline that we're kind of on as long as possible and then take the slope that goes straight down to the ice lake. <laughs> Just so that we're relatively level when we're going over the worst terrain. Go and have a look. This is really steep splits. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I don't think so, mate. <laughs> well, no, no, not, not this bit. Right I was meaning there. the bit off to our left where you can see the yellow and green uh, bits. I see, yeah, yeah, so... So we take that section there. Try and get down and so there's just that... Those two bits, effectively. For my chat, I'm talking about going down here. Like, we've got badness regardless, but I think if we go anywhere near that gully in the middle, we're just in big, big trouble. Unless there's a spot in that gully we can cross. It doesn't look like it. <sighs> the only thing I can think of here as an other, another op option is turn around and go back the way we came and cross over a, a point where... We have half a chance of actually crossing over, which would be probably down ahead of us here. Or... Yeah, but even there looks pretty horrible. Even there looks rough. Or... We try and cross a bridge that's not actually fixed to the ground. I'm interested in trying that. I do wonder how much damage we'll take on it. <clears throat> We would have to build a really strong bridge. Like, heavy armor, anchor, I mean... Well, it really only needs to be heavy armor where it intersects with the ground, where it hits the ground. So those bits last. The rest of it can be fairly light. Uh, I've seen light armor just crush from weight stuff before. Is that only mm. if it's... The that's only if it's colliding grid? or near something that's getting coll collided and taking damage. Otherwise, there's no... Just a sheer weight should we, be an issue. It's the collision. We use the wheel block. Not wheel suspension, but the wheel block itself as our base block. But it, that's just regular armor. Around. Is it the wheel? Yeah. It doesn't have... Because doesn't it still have the circular hitbox? Oh. It might still have the circular hitbox, but otherwise, like, it doesn't take collisions any better than armor. I was thinking the circular hitbox might help us like jam it into places. Ah, uh, okay. So it does so it doesn't move. Because as soon as we lock to the ground, we're kind of cheating. Yeah. So yeah, it's about getting it to not shift around as we're trying to drive on it. Unless. So if I did a if I did a U-turn where we are, there looks like there's a path that goes most of the way down there, from where we're at. Uh, I'm just at. 
I don't think we're getting down this. I think this is a recipe to basically have exactly what we just had happen again. Yeah, I mean, we we're are going to get the front. And we we'll get the more. front stuck, though. The front will jam into the, the yeah. craggy terrain and the back will overtake it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Uh, so we're going to attempt some sort of mobile bridge. I think I see a part of the ravine that we could actually cross. It looks like ahead, it when you're high up, but it's a lot deeper than it looks. Once you get down. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the rover's sinking. I think I'm slowly drifting upwards. Oh, Maybe. never mind. On one side it's good, but the other side it's it's more of the death voxels. That I don't I don't know why Keen made them do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put a GPS once the way said you think we're crossing the bit that's gonna be best. To put a bridge on. I think about here. Yep. Where the two sides are at a point where they're quite level, quite yeah. flat. All right, do you want to drop me back up the top? Are you going to land? Oh, you should probably land too. Kapak, have you got your wing clipping thing for wasted out of the way? Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Be a fun discovery for us all. Uh, does someone want to deploy the runway for wasted? I was going to land on the top. I thought that would be really stylish. Oh, that... I mean... I, sorry, <laughs> I didn't want to take that away from you. I didn't realise you were going to do that. That sounds amazing. Do you I, want I to think do it's that? A I think it's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will just break the runway again. <laughs> I don't know if your plane is big enough to break the runway. Uh, it might not mass enough. That's so weird. All of these... You all of these... Uh, fat shaming my plane. I'm skinny shaming it. Yeah. It's too skinny to hurt my my runway. Like if you flew into it, kamikaze style, probably you could put a hole in it. That's about it. So to the people in the various chats saying we could, te we technically don't have a static grid by using maglocks. As soon as you use a maglock, it is a static grid. That's how come you can use wind turbines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to avoid doing that just because it adds some interesting engineering challenges that none of us have really dealt with before. And, and those situations are rare for us in Space Engineers at this point. Yeah, and the only reason we use mag plates and things to flip rovers is because you kind of have to. When you're on a 45 degree slope going downhill, yes. Yeah, it's yeah there's like nothing else slide. you can do. Yeah, exactly. Chat, this is intended to be Space Engineers Top Gear. I know at least Wasted and I have watched a lot of that and mm -hmm. um, Grand Tour. If the Top Gear guys were also pilots. Well, one of them is. Uh, that... I think two of them are, actually. Is it two? It's only Hammond oh. that isn't. Ah, I didn't realise that Clarkson I, I think I think Clarkson's got a pilot's licence as well. Huh. Oh. That's a landing split, see. <laughs> <laughs> no... Well, from my perspective, it was uh, something else because I was watching from upside down. <laughs> okay, I haven't put your your parking spot back, so give me a second. <laughs> it's being suggested that I make an invert 180 mode for OBS so I can use oh, that whenever the? I'm in that cockpit so the chat oh, don't see it upside down. All right, oh. I got it wrong. It's Clarkson that can't fly. It's Hammond has a... Hammond's got the helicopter license. Oh, yes. May's yes. got a small plane license. Yep. And Clarkson can boat. Yes, that makes sense. I have some vague memory of um, Hammond talking about his uh, helicopter pilot license. All right. Yeah, now just for this bit. My favorite bit of the whole you could, endeavor. You could probably just put your wing on it if you wanted to. Or... Here, I can... Let point. me move it down. I can... Fold, no, no, no. I can... You're right, I can reposition a bit. Get the wing on it. Wee! Calm it. Yeah, Calm there's it a lot. Down. That's the problem Wee. I was having.
you're sliding a little bit to the side every time you do that too. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I could try and put us on a better slope for you, but yeah, I don't good. think that'll no, help. He, he's got point. it. I just need to counter the slide in advance. He just needs Ooh. to go down the city block that is now the runway. <laughs> A little easier to land on it when it's a bit when it's this long. Oh, look at it slide. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. My wheels are getting real slippery too, and I don't remember them being this slippery. Is this a plane plane parts thing again? <laughs> Might be. <laughs> now I just need to use that slide to shimmy yep. sideways. <laughs> Looking good. You want me to push? It might work, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm not tall enough. Oh, well. Time to grow a little then, can I? Am I actually getting closer? Yes, you're almost there. The wing's all the way over there, so I can't really tell. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> you're moving like half a small block each time you do this. It's so. like one of those machines that chops are really... Thin slices of ham. <laughs> You're just sort of sawing it back and forth and getting like a pixel closer each time. Yeah, almost there. There you there go. go. Hey. <laughs> That's probably fine. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Why so many deep, thoughtful noises coming from you, Kamek? Uh, because I just had an idea, but it's a horrible idea because I have to rebuild everything again. Ah, oh, interesting. This is in this particular, it is now not letting me move you. It's fine, but it won't let me flip you up into the air now. Hmm. Is it because it's not strong enough, or is it because no? The I think what's happened. I think reacting. the I think the mag plate is somehow interfering uh, or locking to both him and the. Is that a grid. thing it can do? Uh, no. Okay. You sure it can't? One thing at a time. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a bane of my thing at the moment when I'm building planes on mag blocks and I accidentally chop a single block off the plane, which then proceeds to land on the mag plate. The mag plate goes, "Oh, you want me to lock to that?" and lets go of the entire plane that I've been working on, and it falls to the floor. Because it only does one thing at a time. <laughs> uh, a delivery? Hmm. Seems suspicious. Uh. You can pretend to be out, Gampak, or are you going to take your delivery? I promise one of the neighbors might steal it if you pretend to be out. Do I need to sign for it? That's That's the important thing to ask. Oh, you plan on sending someone else to collect it? What the? Oh, what was that? Uh, the whole is the deck closing for jiggling. Is the deck closing for anyone else? Oh, there yes, it is. It just there did. it is. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> That's horrific. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Almost closed. I hope you're not in the way. Oh. Yeah, that is truly horrific. I'll figure out a better way to do this. I might. What I might do is put a something on a piston on top of this hinge and then do it that way. Why can't I still see you on my HUD? Oh, because it takes it takes ten seconds to realize it's not supposed to show on my HUD anymore. That's why. Yeah, it feels like the plane wheels got extra slippery this week. I don't know what it is. They, I mean, to be fair, they do seem slippery most of the time. <laughs> what does it sound like when you shake it? Is it ticking? <laughs> These are important questions you have to ask about packages. Yep. Thanks, D. 
I hope I wasn't doing anything, so. Closing the front to uh, large caliber rounds that might come in and do damage is in all of our interests. <laughs> well, at least I made it so you can kind of see out the front now. Yeah. I might put a second row of glass in. I'm not sure yet. No, we just turn this into the lounge. Ah, yeah, it's a nice viewing spot for all the trees yeah. I hit. Uh, speaking of trees I hit, uh, turning around. Can we get underway now? Yeah. Is everyone stowed and safe? Uh, sure. Safe. That's a question. Okay, is everyone stowed? Also, yeah. whoops, gotta get rid of a bot. Are we going to stop at the stop and go? Like, I could go with a burrito. Yeah, me too. There we go. Uh, cool. So, everybody's ready. I'm turning around. One of those things where we have to do like a 300 point turn. Yeah, I think so. Ow. Oh, I need to put the solar panels back up on here because I feel like the energy production is going to be useful. Oh. It's really hard to three point turn a device of this type. Yep. Well, why is the back trailer not moving? Uh, I don't know. It's. Let me look at it. It should be. It's like it's looking oh, did, like. Oh, uh, its power is going to be less than the forward pa trailers. You're going to have to turn up its its power. Yeah, Back but left hand wheel is turning the wrong way. Okay, that would explain some of it. Yeah, that one. Which is also why it was turning you into the jackknife. Inverted propulsion on it, we'll see what happens. It's weird that you need to, but from what I was seeing, that was going the wrong way. No, it's just hating me. Um, also, what limits are set on this hinge? 50 and 50. I think that was safe for this one. Ow. I will go forward and try and turn around that way. Ah. Ah, what the? What? Why am I hearing screaming from Catmack? Well, because I climbed up the ladder, and first I could see my own chin, which was very disconcerting. And then Splitsy started driving just as I hit the top of the ladder, so I went flying off it backwards. Oh, that's you down there! I thought the that deck. was it. A... Oh, that... right. You thought it was a what? <laughs> I've been getting the occasional ant crawling across my screen. But of all the wet weather, they've been coming inside. And are they wearing bright orange space suits? At a great dis... Hey, Kabak, there's a bot down there. It's climbing what? up the ladder after you. Mm -hmm. I think your I think your delivery's arrived. Yeah. Oh. Uh, my delivery just arrived. My son just brought me some moist, delicious cookies. Uh. Yeah. Mm. I'm suspicious. 
But he doesn't have a gun. Well, I did specify And he looks no different guns. to the other ones. Oh. There appears to be... Yeah, he looks he's kind of dressed in... The is that pad. UPS Brown? Environmental report. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, dear. Uh, uh, well, I think it's, it's time for me to drive. Enviro... <laughs> It's an environmental report because it doesn't have an N in it. Uh, I brokered it, find them all, and twice on Sunday. It says. <laughs> I like it. It's good. Clear uh, messaging. Nice. Thanks. Well, environmental kind of suits you, Kamek. Hey, you're the one with the the, the, the tree destruction. <laughs> I'm nice to yeah. the environment. I'm fine with my tree des tree destruction. I don't have any issues with it. Oh, I do not like the slope we are on with this very tall. I think just ignore it because I don't think it's affecting it as much as you think it is. Well, the uphill wheels are off the ground. Uh, what's going to happen anyway? Yeah, I don't think I can build like this. Oh well. Alright, I think this was the route to go from memory. Oh boy. We're doomed! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Not going to argue on that one. Which, which bit are you with, Meister? Doomed! <laughs> doomed! Do oh, flying too far. Come on, come on. Uh, I just went from one trailer to another. Oh, this doesn't look jetpack. right. This isn't right, is it? What it's is as right? right as we're gonna get? Yeah. It looks this very is... downhill in the opposite direction to where we want to go. It is very downhill in the opposite direction to where we want to go, but it is the only direction we can go. Alrighty. Should I have reversed down this hill? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, should I turn up the power on the rear trailer? Mm, probably not. It depends. Are you driving forwards or backwards? Because if you're driving forwards, you do not want that back trailer overtaking you. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking if I, because I'm gonna, I won't be using the brakes. You basically brakes. just brake. Yeah. Using reverse, so it'd be to increase its braking ability without causing things to. Constantine. You're going down the literal worst of it already. I think it's too late. Like you're mostly down the worst of it already. This is the moment of truth. Oh, you know, the big oh, trailer goes over the top. Why is why is wasted plane flipping over? Oh, oh, now it decided to go. It. D never changed no, it back. No, so I sort told of, it to flip it back. It's freed itself. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, D, I That's did spam I it to, to try and get it to work as well, so it might have been me. Oh, okay. okay. That's where I wanted to be, to be honest. Uh, More stylish that way. Uh, I think it's taken some damage. I see smoke. Yeah, I think it might have yeah, hit the trailer roof. roof. It hit looks, the roof, yeah. Looks like the landing. Actually, no. no it's it's smoking. It, it, it's the wheels being powered by the subwood wheel control script. <laughs> oh, and not knowing I'm, they're not on the ground, so they're still yeah, yeah. Oh, so they're still smoking away because we're moving. <laughs> gotcha. Um, and I think I could probably still take off from there. Yeah. I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got enough lift, even upside down, that it could do it. Well. Once we stop again, I'll finish my design, and then you won't have any of these problems. Okay, nah. well, we have ten <laughs> solar panels on the roof. So that'll help. I've also got six hanging off the middle trailer. They're not connected to anything, except for the plane, but still. There are six hey, there. the plane's getting, plane's getting some sun. Uh, shall I stop here? Is this close enough where we're going to build the, bridge? build the bridge? Uh, it's... Or, or shall I line myself up so that we know exactly which way we're headed. What, what's this about a bridge? We're bridging this chasm. Further forward is where we want the bridge, I think. Let me, um... 
jump out and go and see if I can find a specific spot for okay. you. Okay. And then I'll try and line us up for it so that we can be relatively straight on. Yeah, because I, th I think we're going to want to go... Yeah, so I think... Oh, have I got my broadcasting on? I you do. do, but you've gone outside range net already. Okay. So you'll need to... I'll get, I'll, I'll get you a GPS, but I yep. think this is our spot. I think this is as good as we're going to get with plenty of stuff to anchor to. Or I would say that if I could see a bit better. Yeah. Just seeing to the other side of the gully at the moment is difficult. Uh... So, oh boy. are we planning on building it off of the trailer, then disconnecting it? Is that the idea? Uh... I don't know. I don't know what Waste's plan is. You think I had a plan? plan was, let's build a bridge. Okay. That's, that's as far as it went. <laughs> I think that's about the right spot, Switz. Where I, I am? This is, it, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd hold up there. That's as good as you're going to get with it before going on to something super steep. Yeah. And, uh, and that as, as, have to fly back and forth heaps. Yeah, as best as I can see in this mess, <laughs> that's the good spot. But. Yeah. So, we're going to rest... Yeah, how are we going to rest this thing down and cantilever it out? I think it, it needs support down in... I mean, you've all played bridge building games, surely? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Quite a lot of them. So, actually. I'm thinking... Great goo I'm was thinking a good one. self-deploying with hinges, but also merge blocks so it becomes rigid once we deploy it, is what I think. It may not be a bad plan to also, actually hinge it off the front of the trailer front of the front of the vehicle so that we can build almost all of it before lowering it into place okay it gets rid of our cantilever problem true so just so we are all aware we're talking about a freestanding nearly 200 now probably over 200 meter bridge yeah yes okay that's designed to carry three rovers wanna, in a train tell me the odds. that weigh <laughs> i don't know 1.5 million kilograms or something like that Yes. Yep. Uh, when I hop in the cockpit, it says 1.88 million kilograms. Oh, man. Uh... <laughs> Would it just be easier to rebuild the rover on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> Hey, let me flap the runway really, really hard. Maybe we'll fly over. Why didn't you make the runway so the entire thing could be hinged out in front of us? Could have been half of our bridge right there. I know, right? I mean, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, so stupid. Wait, if we're going to be deploying this off this rover, then we need. I need to drive right down to the edge. The only other option is to landing gear something down and then unlanding gear it before we drive over. No, I was cheating. Okay. I mean, I you guess know if, we're going to fall we... in the ditch, right? Like, you know, that's but what's happening. I, I believe we can actually make this work. I'm I not sure get... that we will this time, but I believe you th this is workable. I think what's going to happen, the front rover's going to get over, get onto it, and we're going to be like, yay! Then the second rover's going to get on it, and it's going to snap like a twig, and we're going to fall into the chasm. Oh, no, dear, I think the chasm's long enough that all three parts are going to be on the bridge at once. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's going to snap when the second rover gets on it. I think it's, it's going to crush it. It's going to register the wheels as big collisions. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to start laying out a bit okay. of a deck then. That's gone the wrong way. Okay. And you're going to want it... Uh, yeah. Nice and wide. A bit wider than the wall. Nice and wide. Yes, we need, we need wiggle you... room. We don't need this to be a proper um, Top Gear style bridge where you've got millimetres of wiggle room. 
Well, I mean, what you've done is also, I mean, that's kind of millimeters of wiggle room, technically. Um, and then we're going to have to weld the whole thing up. No, we just need to weld the bits that are in contact with the ground. I think. And then the acid raid comes when we're halfway across the bridge. <laughs> it dissolves and we okay. fall into the yeah, chasm. We need to weld the whole thing up. Case in point. I can't think of anything more Top Gear than getting halfway across the bridge and finding out it's starting to disintegrate underneath <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, neither can I. That sounds awesome. That's the point where Clarkson needs to yell more power and we just gun it. Yep. Except we don't get retakes to make sure that it actually works. I'm about to say, except for that one problem where blatantly sometimes that goes wrong. <laughs> and they don't just make it across the edge of the bridge in time for the rear wheels to flick the whole bridge out into the cavern. But in fact, fall it in. But they do it so in an entertaining fashion, so who cares if it's scripted? <gasps> Top Gear is scripted? What? <gasps> hey, we can see again. It's almost like things are really entertaining when you make them entertaining. Whoa. Oh. Okay. You seeing um, the chasm now? No, 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 no. That was... I walked out onto the piston, and then I went into space. <laughs> and then I walked off this piston, and I was still here. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been getting that a bit, too. But, yeah, basically, we can't get down into the chasm. It's too steep and craggy. We can't go along the hill, because there's another chasm to our right. And we can't go back, because... Because the chasm's still there. The chasm is still there. A the chasm goes the entire way along. Remember, this was the chasm that we looked at from the top of the hill and went, you know right. what, we need to avoid that. <laughs> yeah, I remember. So the only way to get past that chasm is to go back up to the top of the hill that so, we could only get down by falling. Where exactly are we planning on crossing? Uh... I think this bit... If you come to where I'm... Wow, I'm getting brave. I jumped off the front of the rover. <laughs> Without jetpack. <laughs> brave or just don't care anymore? Because obviously the lip of this is going to need some surface preparation, I think. Yeah, but if, if you look, I think this is the flattest on either side we're going to get. Because the other yeah. side's pretty flat as well. Yeah. We're going to oh, need man. another drill because we're going to run out of steel making this thing. Uh, also, I don't think we should use heavy armor for the contact points. I think we should use blast door blocks. That's a good call. Non-deformables should be our contact uh, points. Uh, we use pistons as the contact points. Slippy. If we, we use pistons and then we have a battery on the grid as well so that if things start getting a little tippy, we can control and move oh, things I can around. see how much yelling that will bring. I'm all for it. Yeah. <laughs> also... We want, once we get the thing across, before we go across, we want to build as close to all of the edges as we possibly can on both sides and down the middle. They don't, those don't have to be built, but they have to be there to stop it from sliding around. We can't just build a plank because that's just going to slide out from under yeah. the wheels and down we'll go. Yeah, I'm just starting with a plank and then we can figure out the other bits once I drive this thing down there. Yeah, okay, so 200 meters. Sorry. So, 100 meters. 100 blocks. 2.5 blocks. Just 2.5 just, meters per block. Yep. Just do 100 so it's a 250 meter bridge and we can trim it if we need to. Uh, careful as you're doing that. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. It's going to create a cantilever effect with the weight. Um, just checking. Just be ready to grind it off if we start to tip over. Blitzy, you are at 118 meters. Hundred and fifty. This is gonna be ridiculous. This is gonna be so ridiculous. It's uh tilting the hinge now. The hinge needs uh, more torque. Yeah, do you want to uh, up the torque on the hinge? Uh, it's just approaching 200 now. Hmm. I will max the torque on the hinge. Oh, wait, it's already on it. Both of them are going to need to be maxed here. I'll get this top one. It's on the ground. Uh, 
Waster, do you know how wide your wingspan is in large blocks? I have no idea. Oop. I mean, he's parked on the runway. Can I just count it out? Oh, he's no, not, he's not parked on the back. runway. He's stuck in a crazy angle. And his wing will intersect with the runway if I try to retrieve Open it. Open the runway, bring him up, Okay. and close the runway. Does someone want to stand on the end of that and tell me when we're on the other side? I will go. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to start driving forward now. Oh, Capac's deployed the runway. I think he's undeploying I'm still the going. I'm running. <laughs> Wait, this isn't you just making me walk the plank, is it? <laughs> That canyon's full of sharks. Where's Capax Capacodile? I'm at the end. Okay. Mm, tell me if I'm all the, the resources is for a out, is out of range of personal suit signals. So. <laughs> yep. I can see all your signals. Wasted, you are 202 meters from me. 202 meters. Okay. Uh, once Capac has no, deployed the solar plane, if it actually does decide to undeploy, uh, I'm going to have to this... jiggle us and move. The hinge door. isn't moving. Yep, that's the problem I was having too. Oh, there it goes. Hinge is now moving. Uh, is it? Uh, I'm going oh, down. There it goes. I'm going down. Yeah, it's because oh. we're leaning forwards. Oh. The, the, the thing's getting <laughs> steeper. Oh. I thought you'd enjoy that perspective, do you? Oh, boy. Uh, Hi over there. See. One. Hello. Mr. Ant, I see you. Two, and three, uh, four. Five, five, can six, I go and cut seven, the trees down for eight. you? Is that, is that 11, something I can 12, do? You can 13, if you want to. 14, 14, feel more comfortable. 15 blocks. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Our nose is very much dicking in. 1, 2, 3, 4, I have to five, strengthen six, the, 7, 8, the nine, suspension 10, strength on those wheels. 13, 14. Are you over the oh. other side yet? No, not even. I'm maybe halfway. Oh, jeez. Make sure you can stop. Ooh. Well, I'm moving at less than two meters a second most Wait, of the time. Wait, stop, so. stop, stop, if you can. We're about to crash into the other side. I need to raise the rotor up a bit. Yeah, Do raise you... the rotor, but there's how, there's a way. How wave. close are you? That's down, that's down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's up. Well, I'm way up now. Way. <laughs> He's going for a ride. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm, I'm missing out. How does it feel from there, DE? Uh, this is like when, when one of those well, high-speed... Them in chairlifts stop violently and you get launched like 50 meters up and down. You feel your breakfast in your mouth. I'm getting a little bit of that. I am just about at the other side. This seems yeah, like one of those... just about at the edge here. Yeah, yeah, stop. We're just gonna need to build like probably five or six more blocks. Seems like yeah, one of those good. situations where you need a VR headset to really. Yeah, this, this enjoy is a good place experience. to leave it on our end at least, splits, because this will leave us on. Yeah. Pretty solid terrain. Okay, let me throw some blocks down. I do have uh, steel plates. This is quite an experience running along this thing. Uh, that should be enough. Okay. Uh, Rotor down. Hinge down. You ready? And we contact. have contact. Contact. Yeah. Uh, we're going up again. <laughs> we're bouncing. All right. Leveling you out. Yep. We're down. All right. How wide is this thing? Uh, yes. I will so, keep going. Wasted. Yeah, Do you want the yet. good news or the bad news? I wasn't aware there was news. So I've come up with a solution to your problems maneuvering on the flight deck. But okay. you have managed to construct your wingspan at pretty much exactly the same width as the width between the folded runway. Yeah, we knew that. Okay. So, in theory, we could maglock you to my new device and get you out of the way but still protected from the acid rain but still be up here on the flight deck and you wouldn't have to maneuver around because this thing can swing around to grab you, but you have to line it up perfectly. Or I'm going to smash my wings off. Oh I yeah, see. the wings will get eaten by the folding runway. 
I like it. Okay. I mean, that just sounds like a nice uh, game of Jeopardy. Let's do it. Let's see. What's Sweet. the middle block here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. Okay. The middle block is that one. Uh, we're going to need a lot of steel plate. Yeah. No, I need all the steel plate for my contraption. Sure. Uh, we are a square now. Rectangle. Yay! I'm making the first piston foot. It's spinning. It's spinning. Oh, uh, it's only Why a little bit. Why is it? I fine. don't want it to do that though. You know I what? really don't I'm want actually... it to do that. I'm gonna. This is gonna be sketchy. Redesign this as a little. Anything. This is why it's time to get into some get some interesting uh, support blocks in place. Make make sure it can't twist. Well, <laughs> it's currently connected uh, to our grid, so I can do this. I'm putting a piston down. It's got three blast door blocks on the bottom of it. I figure the sub grid shenanigans might also reduce the damage it takes. Yeah. But it's not going to be a subgrid when we drive over it. No, 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 but it just, you know, how generally just having subgrids tends to create less damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. I'm putting down, like, the closest things I can do to pitons without actually being able to drive into the ground. Yeah, we're going to need to try and use these craggies to our advantage for once. Yeah. The other this question, how do you guys feel about drilling holes down just for the sake of putting pilot posts in them? Might work. Might. Yeah. I don't think we're finishing this bridge today, by the way. Just uh, the amount of steel plates we're going to have to use and weld. Well, I, as I've said, I don't think we need to weld the deck. Um, and I think we should give it... I think, regardless of what happens today, even if we don't think we, we've we made it, I think we should give this a crack today. Okay. Uh, what if an enemy fighter plane comes in and shoots the bridge and we end up in the bottom of a canyon? It's a risk we have to take. We ended up fine at the bottom of the last canyon we fell in, so it'll be fine. Yeah, hey. I'll look forward to building the runway again next week. <laughs> now, there is Any a risk with digging these in a bit, is that then they become prone to snapping. Yeah. That's potentially why we shouldn't rely purely on dug-in ones. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Well, I'll start putting the unbuilt blocks all over the place. Yep. Um, you could use solar panels to make a deck. Oh, refineries. Or refineries, but their re refineries are super heavy, so it'll increase That's the true. force of collision against the ground. Uh... <laughs> what? Oh, it was just the way as I was going to put an armor block down. I'm like, I think I've got it clear of the gap it needs to be as the whole thing shifts. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> as I was playing with a piston. Yep. I am building the solar panel deck. This Excellent. will not go wrong. No, this is all going to be fine. It's going to be oh, super exciting. It's going to be super funny excited. as anything, and Imagine it's going to be memorable. All the power That's what we're we going to have with all those solar panels. I'm not building them though, Capac. They're just a steel plate. What? He's just excited to see solar panels involved. That's true. <laughs> well, I mean, did, have you looked at the top of the runway yet? When it's folded? Ooh, very nice. Yeah, I thought you'd enjoy that. Because I feel like we're going to run on hydrogen before we get to the ice lake, so... Uh, like some good old-fashioned solar power might be in order. Yeah. Uh, I don't think a welding vehicle of any kind is going to help us here. Because the places we got to weld stuff are out of the way. <laughs> this is very deep ravine. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, my device is ready, Wasted, if you want to try loading up your plane. I mean... Will I have to? <laughs> yeah, you don't, have, don't to. have to do it now. We can do it later. Uh, Kabak, does that mean you're going to help with the bridge? Uh, what? We could use some help. What is what is even happening with this bridge? We're going to so, drive across it. Oh, Doesn't that so sound these like a are great like idea? building like supports down into the crags to try to stop it from slipping around, I guess. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um. And welding up said supports, because I think they'll be the bits that will take damage. Okay. I'm... I'm wondering what kind of clang is going to be faced with by this thing. Because I'm All just I thinking know... about my dominoes experiment, where I dropped a thousand of them, and the weird things that happened with that. Because of the number of collisions between blocks and voxels. I think we're going to see some uh, some sim speed. We're going to see giant sparks. <laughs> the server will crash, we'll log back in, and there will be a crater. Could be. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Oh yeah, I probably should be using the I-beam blocks just for the looks. They're also not deformable. Ooh, good point. Huh. Huh? Hmm. What are you hunting, Kamek? I was just thinking, wouldn't it be better just to do like a piston and a drill rather than all these uh drills would also blocks. be good contact points because they don't take much damage from collisions well i think capo was thinking that it would also be a bit of a cheaty way to drive pylons into the ground as well mm. yeah no, do it Capac. do some i don't think any of us have an exper have experience with doing what we're doing here so i certainly don't feel like i've got any rights to say one thing will or won't work because by all rights none of this should but I think it will anyway. We're all gonna die. <laughs> oh. Oh, I need enough clearance to make the piston and the drill head, though. <laughs> D is always already thinking of his escape plan. <laughs> I'm wondering... No, I'm, I'm wondering if we launch all of the aircraft that we have and have those flying around just, just to reduce the weight at all. I mean, they're not that heavy, <laughs> but just... A few hundred thousand kilograms less. They even weigh a hundred thousand kilograms between them? Between them, probably. Mine's pretty chunky. If it drill, not drilling. Oh yeah, if we build a couple of the solar panels on this, we won't need to build batteries. As long as we do it at daytime. Oh, good point. <laughs> and it is the sun is setting so yeah good point yeah. batteries it is <laughs> batteries it is how much iron have we got left plenty I can say now this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever done with solar panels. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are going to have to use some blocks on the side here. Because it's not quite the right width. I think that's fine. Um, I think just having the main deck out of it will just... I presume it's going to be slightly quicker to place as well. Though it is a bit fiddly. Yeah, I've made them. two runs. I've made two runs across with the solar panels right now. Yeah. I have to get more energy now. Oh, I'm about to run out of hydrogen. It's a bad place to do that. Into the pit you with you. Blow. No, for, by some miracle, I actually noticed. Fuel critical. 
I noticed when it said 25 and I'm like, oh, I don't have a bottle symbol there. But I'm out of hydrogen. I wonder if there's a way to build a, a series of pistons on the hangar trailer for self-leveling. <laughs> so we can always have a flat flight deck. Hmm. Probably is. Is it worth the... No, it's always worth it. Oh my kid. For the, for the ridiculous engineering yep. challenge, it's yep. definitely worth it. Yeah, that's where I was going. <laughs> I'd have to some... dig it out from the blueprints, but I actually have a script for that. Designed oh, no. to oh, use yeah, four pistons and a remote control to auto level something based on the artificial horizon. <laughs> that's from your oh, deployable base, isn't it? And that's from the, the base in the box. Yeah. I, one that was designed cool. to land and then build itself. I remember that thing. Okay, I think the near right-hand side is as anchored as I'm likely to be able to get it. I'm going to build a couple more links back up to the top. But I've kind of jammed it, jammed these into the holes a fair bit. And if Capac's doing some drill connections, then we should have a few extra things to stop it sliding around too much. All right, I've got a drill pylon going down over this side. Cool. Nice. being suggested to me that I shouldn't build all the way down into the crags until we release but I figure if we don't until we release then it's going to slide. Yeah we want to build as far down as we can. Yeah we want everything to be as locked in. as it can be before we release. And then once it releases then we can add the little extra bits that we that we can get away with to try and make it so we can drive on and off. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Pretty much isn't it? Is about right to me. And yes, my chat is also saying this is either going to be over-engineered or vastly under-engineered. Could be both. Could be both. Yes, as we have no idea what we're doing, that seems likely. Can we randomly leave solar panels out? What do you mean? Just, just in some places have them missing. <laughs> I mean, I can. I haven't yet. <laughs> Do we really need that out of difficulty? Wesley? It feels like it's not a proper rickety bridge if we I know, put I know. it fully filled in. There needs to be some You gaps. can see through it. That's not good enough. They've got those like cool-ass glass ones in, in places where they're super safe. If a bit bouncy. Um, I think there was one that was like super bouncy. Capac, there are glass. Can ones you that... do another drill piston like that on this side as well? Huh? Oh on no, wait, he's already anchored it. Never mind. Uh, do we need to anchor it at both ends, or should we just anchor it at one end and then I think release both it? Both ends, both is ends probably... for sure. <laughs> okay. That that was a serious question. I wasn't sure whether it'd be better or worse. Dumb ways to die, so many dumb ways to die. Oh jeez, I don't want to run out of hydrogen flying across this ravine. No, no, that would be a bad time. That's why I've been building it by walking most of the time. A little slower, but... I've, I've also dropped two solar panels into the abyss now. <laughs> it's funny, because they, they do actually drop out of sight in the fog and you can't see them. <laughs> How's the grid mass doing as we add all these blocks and things? I haven't had a look. I'll have a look what the cockpit says. Uh, so we started at 1.8 million. We're up to 2.28. Nice. I'm, the deck is getting very close to being done, actually. Cool. Yeah, see? Yeah. All this naysaying, we won't get this done today. 
Well, I expected to like weld things up and you know not die in a puff of acid rain, but since we're dedicated to, to dying in a puff of acid rain. Well, I mean, you know. Wasted also wanted holes in it, which I'm guessing will be there <laughs> anyway, even though no one plans for it. I'm going on the assumption that Wasted's going to go and make holes. And I'm not going to try and stop it. Also, I have now just blueprinted this because... Oh, uh, I see that we are now the sloppy jalopy. We've been the sloppy jalopy for a while. I thought we were the floppy jalopy. No. Wait. Oh, I don't remember. Well, when we cross this bridge, we're going to be the droppy jalopy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hammerby suggests we just fill the ravine with gravel. Surely we've ejected enough by now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's not wrong. Oh damn, that's cool. I like the um, making the supports with the beams instead of blocks. It's it's also safer, so the double bonus. Yeah, I don't care about that. I just think that it looks cool. Yeah, I agree. It also does look cool. All right. Is this oh, the space engineers oh. first? What? Is this the first time anyone has built a giant unsecured bridge to drive over? It's the first time I've done it. Because I I don't know. I mean, we're probably not. The first people to try it ever. There goes another solar panel. Um, but we're probably definitely the first ones to do it in any kind of content because it's such a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> terrible ideas are our bread and butter. No one else would be crazy enough to try this. Oh, this does not feel safe. What well, doesn't? Of walking on the unbuilt solar panels with the massive gaps in them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, the gaps, the visible gaps in the unbuilt blocks are more than large enough for a person to fall through. Yeah, but the solar panel ones are particularly large. Yeah, true enough. They really are. I have almost made it all the way across with the deck. I can see that. Look, I build airplanes for a living. Tedious, repetitive tasks are my bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, we're totally going to be able to test this soon. I'm, uh, I'm fascinated just to see what will happen when we release it from the truck. <laughs> if nothing it's else. break into two pieces and fall into the ravine. Quite well, possibly. that was fun. <laughs> well, at least we'll know we'll have to try something new. Also, I'm going to do something in uh, Wasted. Feel free to get your chat to disagree or agree with this. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to ask the question. Should we be doing this in daylight or at night? Well, if we do it at night, we can do it immediately. If we do it in daylight, we're going to have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, but we could magically wait till tomorrow. That's what I'm suggesting. Wait. So, a landing gear is cheating, but bringing the sun all the way around like some kind of god is not. Uh-huh. Okay. Just to be clear. Huh. Well, if we're doing that, though, we're going to need the lights. All right. My, my chat's what the? kind of doing half-half night and day, but mostly night. So, I'm just going to do a poll because I'm curious what they think anyway. Should we cross at night or magic daylight? I mean, the the fun thing about nighttime is it'll be um, we're going to need to put light sources everywhere and we're not going to be able to see much. The fun thing about daylight is we're going to be able to see how s utterly terrifying Stupid the whole thing everything is. is. Yeah. So I can see advantages to both. That's why I can't decide. Okay, bridge deck is done. Ooh, it's pretty split. 
I mean, if it's pretty split, I'm just going to go with whatever time we actually get it finished. And you should probably go now before Wasted cuts any more holes in the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Those are speed well, holes, so we can cross it faster. <laughs> well, I've filled all the ones in I've found so far. I'm following you around now. <laughs> Look. Need the drama. Drama. Excitement. Uh-huh. Look good in the trailer. What? A uh -huh. Jedi craves none of these things. I don't want to refill the rust me again, like we. Oh, hello. Light. I can promise you, if we have a problem, it won't be a couple of holes dug into this. <laughs> it's yeah. If we have a problem, it's, it's going to be catastrophic. Far worse than that. Well, uh, the Kabak, thing is, did you fall off trying to push me off? I think. Yes. Kabak, did you put a battery somewhere on the bridge? Nope. Uh, you probably want to to make those lights actually do something. Also, why are you pointing them sideways? What? There's one over here that's sideways. Did you build that or did something? Yeah, you I built angled it. them up. Well, you're not going to be able to get me. Because my dampers are locked to large grid. Oh. Ow. Uh, what are we? 6842, yes. Mm hmm. Because it's not static, so I can relative damper to this thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although, because you're in planetary gravity, your jetpack won't turn on automatically. Stop following me around. Uh, oh. Can anyone see other spots where we should be trying to put some things down? What just happened? <laughs> he just ground at me and ground the penalty for standing. I didn't try to grow you. I tried to time it right so that I did that to you, oh, not to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, it looked great, though. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be equal parts people in chat wanting this to fail and wanting this to succeed. Oh, they all want it to fail. They want to see everything explode. I I don't think that's the only outcome they want. I think if you're kind of in that torn thing of, I want to see whichever one's going to be funniest. And I'm oh, not sure which now? that is. We should go now because they can't see anything. Let's do it. <laughs> chat will love this. <laughs> Serves them right. Thanks, Buffington. I mean, in this split, you'll probably drive us right off the side of the bridge. Well, my poll ended up with 55% saying nighttime, so I'm not going to switch the day to make it vis things visible. Ooh, nighttime fog. Zero well, the other visibility. thing is, our nights aren't super dark because of the skybox. It's, yeah, that's true. It's not complete pitch black, and that was intentional. Oof. What? Well, the polls are in. What does your poll say? Uh, it says the best laid plans, dot dot. The options were to Davy Jones's locker or Nat 20. Um, <laughs> and it's a 52 to 48 split. Ooh. 54 people think we're going to fall down the hole and 58 people think we're going to make it. But because of the points bet, there's more money on the negative. Of course. Oh yeah, Kapak, you need to do a prediction on your channel. This oh. is looking pretty good there in terms are of all the anchors. Three million points up for grabs in this one. People oh went my big. Gosh. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, other question. Should we put a lip on the edge if we start to slide? Uh, if we do... start to slide, if we catch that lip, won't it just make it worse? Yeah. I mean... I mean, we should slide sideways. Stuck. We've got near 100 friction and 100 friction wheels. I, I, I'm more thinking that if we do start sliding sideways into that lip, then all we do is apply the weight of the rover sliding sideways to the bridge. Oh, and then right. it goes across. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Prediction started. A bridge too far. Let's see what Capac chat has to say. It's a pity I can't do predictions on YouTube. Did, did, did you name yeah. it after... Famous bridges. I mean, those are your outcomes. Uh, my oh. options were... Uh, a bridge too far, question mark. One, not if you fall off. Two, you can do it. 
There's no Tacoma Arrows option? No. <laughs> oh, i got to read that. So, I am a Savoxer, she said, I come to watch all of you succeed despite your, in spite of yourselves. That That's seems fair. accurate. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did just spend like five minutes going over the bridge three, four times, making sure I got all the things. And as we're going across, I know I'm going to find more holes that I'm going to have to fill in as you're driving. You're going to fill them in? You're not just going to chance it? No, I've already <laughs> filled them in. I don't want to build it again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dang it. I even got you with a big grinder as you went fell down. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not an exciting, exciting stream unless there's a little bit of bump and grind. Wow. Yep. Well, Tex isn't here to say it. Oh. Uh. Number one tip, don't let Wasted drive across the bridge. Wasted, do you want to drive across the bridge? Do it. My history of driving across bridges is amazing. I think you'll find. What is your I'm history of driving it. across bridges? Well, it was in wrong way up last time. Oh. Wrong way down, in fact, with the spider. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where I was halfway, where we did build one that was only just big enough for the wheels. Yeah, because we I were got about halfway bits. over and gunned it and ended up upside down in the bottom of the hole. <laughs> so far, we've used about 5,000 steel plates since Sounds I queued right. up the steel plates. I'm surprised, bless. Ooh. My chat is split. Yeah, as I was saying, the people are pretty unsure on this one. I think no one's got any context. Like, mm -hmm. Alright, there's four of us. Who thinks we'll make it? I think that provided none of our holes go through a wasted hole, our wheels go through a wasted hole, I think we're good. So I think do you think we're going goes... to make it? Not, a, not provided this, provided that. Do you think we're going to make it? Let me look at the bridge one more time. As uh, it sits now. Wait. I'm going to stand somewhere where I can jump off and run to safety. So Capac doesn't decide. think we're going to make it. <laughs> I think we're going to make it. Energy low. I'd rather think we're going to make it and be wrong than think we're not going to make it and be wrong. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put an option for when we detach the bridge, it flies off into space and we have to rebuild it. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, Capac, you can only do two options for predictions. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah you've only got two, which is always bad, but there you go. Um, Wasted, do you think we're going to make it? Yep. So, D, have you made your decision? Do you think we're going to make it? I will tell you whether or not I think we're going to make it after we release the bridge. No, you got to um, call it now. That's no, the fun I of don't. It. You yeah. can't make me do that. I'm trying to make you do that. Yeah, well, I just told you you can't make me do that. Are you Try intentionally you making the front of the rover asymmetrical or is this just because you're half done? It's because I'm half done. I kind of like it asymmetrical. I kind of do too, but... Um... I'll think about how I'll do the asymmetry after, but it's not going to be this way. I just got more cookies. We're going to make it. Oh. <laughs> I don't have bridge clearing cookies. Uh, Kapak, have you finished making the bridge battery? Yeah. Cool. Yep, the bridge is independently powered. All right. Uh, Stop I trying to pressure my husband into saying something he doesn't want to say. <laughs> but it's fun, Nab. It's a meaningless call. She's laughing at you. Um, I need to put headlights on this thing because I ground them all off before. I'm being told that the safe option is to abandon you to your inevitable doom. <laughs> well, that's always the safe option. But that's not the fun option. I mean, if I wanted to be safe, would I have joined this series? No, I think not. I mean, I did tell Capac in the first episode, full impulse power. Yes, you did. 
Look and that was amazing. Right uh, here. Thousands, about to cross thousands the bridge. of views. About to cross a bridge. It's a disaster. Oh, hilarity. Or both. Yeah. I Most don't know. Ghosts, usually. Well, in, in Space Engineers, disaster is hilarious. Because mm. there's no real... There's no real cost. Oh. So I put those upside yep. down. Oh, well. That's some headlights. <laughs> I mean... I kind of like them better upside down. Yeah, I might leave them. It'll annoy someone, you but... Know what? I think I might leave I'm going to wait until you're not looking at them and turn one of them the right way up. Oh, that won't worry me. I know, it won't worry you, but then chat's going to see it and be like, What the That'll be great. I'm going to make, and what I'll do is I'll make like one of them just slightly warmer than the other two. Oh, I do that stuff intentionally all the time. Oh, that's great. I love it. There we go. We can now see. I don't know how much we'll be able to see once I drive forward and I'm not pointing down at the bridge, but you know. Well, at least on this half of the bridge, it's looking good. At least until the acid rain starts when we're right across the middle. Uh, are we good to release? Uh, I think we're getting close to it, yeah. Uh, how much of this do you want welded up? Well, as much of the edges, the bits that are going to contact and the blocks near them should be welded. Because I think that'll make an impact on how much of it survives. Okay. The problem I'm having is we keep running out of steel plates. Yeah. Because we're all using them at once. If we go to space, like, what do we do? Uh, victory! No, we, we have to start again. We go back to the other planet. Oh, okay. Ah. Back to the top. Back to Elysium. Back to where there are actually resources. <laughs> but stupidly many of them. Just strip mine the whole planet before coming over here. Have we uh, welded up the other side at all? I have welded up a fair bit of it, but not the lip that's touching. Yeah, I just okay. started doing some of that. Jogging across the ravine right now to help out. So one downside to the solar panels is they do have these little bumps on them. Yeah. So that shouldn't affect the rover too much, but it'll be interesting to watch it go on the way across. It is four steel plates per solar panel in order to gain 25% of its total integrity. Nope, thirty-one percent of its total integrity. So, In other is that words, why you're taking can, the other the random panels out to get more integrity? Yeah, to put it. I'm taking those steel plates and putting them into ones nearby. Uh -huh, it's just uh -huh. helping. Yep, 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 yep. It's just found another <laughs> hole. Dang it. <laughs> so when we get to the other That's side, are we going to reattach the uh, proboscis to the bridge <laughs> and flip it over the top of the rover and bring it with us in case we run into any more canyons? Yeah, we've decided the D's runway wasn't big enough, so we're going to use <laughs> this from now on. This is our <laughs> runway. <laughs> I mean, ironically, we've built the biggest runway of the series. <laughs> <laughs> We've got no plates to land on it. I'm welding up the four steel plates randomly in some of the center ones, where mm -hmm. most of the weight's going to be. Oh, that's cool, because it's going to look kind of weirdly incomplete then. It'll make it looks look better than the full of the holes. Honestly. It looks like that's some attempt has been made to hold it together. Yeah. Also, I did something that some. we probably should have done at the start of this construction, and I've got the second assembler making steel plate. Aren't they on co-op? No. Okay. But I just set it on repeat steel plate. Yeah. That's a good plan. No energy. There I go. Oh, that's a cool shot. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is all so awesome. This is why I love doing this series. Because you get crazy people doing crazy things. Yeah. And a group of people who 
there's a chance they could actually make it work. If we were doomed I mean, to failure every time, it wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, we've only got, what, like 10,000 hours of space engineers between us? Oh, between Wasted and myself, we've got 10,000 hours. We've only got 20,000 hours of space engineers between <laughs> us. I think, I think the sum too. of our hours wasted is getting pretty close to a 10,000. I'm on 5.5. .5. Yeah. I'm on 4.2 or something. Okay, I'm carrying the slack as usual. I see how it is. I think I'm at 3 point something. Hang on. i check now. Uh, you guys have too much spare time. You just play too much Noida. I mean, that's true. And Cap, I pretty much started playing Space Engineers when we um, did Survival Unlikely together. Which was only... Okay. Three years ago we started that? What? No, that's not true. Yeah, I'm 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 the I'm the new guy. We've got twenty nine hundred hours. Come back, you hadn't really played it before then. You'd made stuff in creative mode, but you never really played. Uh is what I was getting at. Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. B fifty two to challenge a KC one thirty? I don't think you know what a KC one thirty is. Tex is only at 3,200 hours of being the helper in Space Engineers series. Hmm. <laughs> Tex is the help. Uh, I didn't say the help, I said the helper. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. They're two very Gordon, different things. Gordon Twitch in my chat has suggested that we should all empty our jetpacks before we drive across. <laughs> That's just to ensure a, a TPK. <laughs> well, so if things go horribly wrong, we can't just escape on our jetpacks well honestly you're at least for wasted myself we're probably safer just staying in a seat on the rover i mean everybody is i think nine times out of ten if you're in a, a grid that wrecks your seat gets ejected somehow and you're fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Secure some more of these anchors. And actually welded up blocks. Alright. Um, I guess we gotta call it somewhere. Does anyone have any blocks that they really think need to be welded? I do think it will be a good idea for us to go through and put those four steel plates into each side of the I've been doing it. Okay. Only because as it currently stands with a single steel plate in them, they have just no integrity. Okay. any damage whatsoever and that plate disappears and I can see that compounding. Yep. You, you know, we manage to damage one plate enough that it blows out, then the wheels start falling through it and it takes out all the plates next to it. Yep. Alright. I'll keep, um, I'll keep welding up the outer plates as well. So that we've at least got a rigid frame that survives too. Boring, oh, so we... but well, I do actually want to give it half a shot of making it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's why I asked the question. That's why I didn't just release it and make us deal with it. Um, oh. Because I also want this to work. Yeah, maybe one of us should be on the other side of the bridge as a cameraman to see what's happening as the as it comes no, I'll, over. Nah. And I'll be on the rover, but I'll probably be in spectator watching us. Yeah, same. Everyone should be on the rover. Yeah. And that's only because then I can move my camera a bit better. As opposed to V, third person. I mean, most of these, I think, have already been hit. Come on, do you want to help with welding stuff up or...? Uh, I reckon we're good to go. There. I'm soaking it all in. You gotta take the time to smell the roses. Uh huh. Also, there's no steel pikes to build yeah, anything true. with anyway. That's a good point. Just wait a few minutes, you'll get a couple. Wait a few minutes, we'll all be dead! I mean, that's always possible. <laughs> I'm out of steel plates, but, like, probably... 
I'd guess about 80% of them are welded. At least to some degree. Alright, I'm going to fly across and uh, do the ones that I can see that are missing. Is it, it, when we get to the when we get all this done is then someone's gonna say well should we just do the construction components as well since that won't take long to manufacture no There's ten of them yeah but unlike the old days construction components are able to be manufactured quickly now sort of we should make another bigger bridge as a backup in case this one doesn't work <laughs> it looks like yeah, we, we need a second layer below us to catch us in case we fall through this one. <laughs> Hello, Wasted was grinding holes in it and now he's encouraging us to make it stronger. Yeah, isn't that funny? It's almost like you're in two minds about this one, Wasted. Oh, I was still going to put some holes in it. There's just no point when Z's following me around. No, it's just, I thought... I'd do it at the last moment. He says, assuming I'm not going to just fly in front of the rover and place him down. See, Wasted, this is when you got to think up some job that he needs to do that'll occupy him elsewhere. Yeah, but you just said that out loud, and so I'm not going to be fooled. And there's ways of fixing that. I'll just start flapping the uh, hinges on the runway <laughs> around. That'll get, that'll get him rolled up <laughs> nice and fast. <laughs> Yeah, it might have been faster Ooh. to have just put welders on the front of the rover and just welded as we went Ow. across. I died on one of the solar panels. What? Yeah, I was just flying across the surface of it and I died as I hit one of the bits that sticks up. Well. That's karma. Is it? For all the solar panels you've murdered. Hey, I played an entire two years of a game where all I used was solar power. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. What? It's trees and nature's solar panels. And he just hates them. He hates the trees and he hates the solar panels. I love the trees, I just love them too much. They always run away from me. Okay. I think all the solar panels are done. Okay. I think so too. Which means we might have accumulated a few more steel plate and be able to weld up some more of these edges. The tiling of this is such that it's really hard to tell. <laughs> I keep like catching ones out of the corner of my eyes. Oh, yeah, no, there no, are, no, no. there are a couple one, of random one. ones. But all right, do we assume the position? Oh no, we need to release it first. Yeah, we do. Um, we we got a bunch of steel plate made though, so we should weld up the edges just until we run out. Like where we're going to be driving so we don't crush it. Yeah. And any of the bits that connect to anchors that go onto the ground. Mm, I don't know if it likes that. I'm wondering if this thing's just going to jiggle and flip itself out as, it, as we release it. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. I'm thinking it could be heavy enough that it won't. Uh, it's pretty heavy, so yeah. But we can find out how heavy. Hang on a second. Okay. It is 542,000 kilograms. That's pretty chunky. Considering we've actually yeah. made it fairly so clumsy. About, about the weight of the heaviest of our rovers. Oh, uh, no, so the lightest no. of our rovers. Yeah, the lightest. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. say, I'm pretty sure the hangar rover is fatter than that. Yeah, it's like 800. Yeah, I guess this is going to be glorious if it works. It's going to be amazing. And we, I guess we could have made it heavier by just placing down a whole bunch of incomplete, incomplete battery blocks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't be doing that now. Well, I'm not cantilevering it. All right, 
right, we're almost out of the manufactured plates. I say we release and, and get this show on the road. All Let's right. go. Uh, I'm going to stand on the bridge when you release it as a sign of my confidence in your engineering skill. Sure, I'll join you. Um, everybody ready? I've got my ringside seat right here. <laughs> I see your seat, Kabak. Wasted, are you ready? Wasted? I'm good. Let's do this. All right. Grinding release in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Nothing. Oh, it didn't it even did move. move. Nothing. I saw it move. Huh? No, I saw the rover move. Yeah, the rover move. The, this didn't. Oh, okay. I think we've wedged it well enough to where yeah. it just didn't move. Okay, let's get rid of the proboscis. All right, I'll get in my, uh, my hangar seat. Well. Yeah, let me get into a, a place that I can survive being turned upside down. There's only one uh, seat in the hangar. I see how it is. I, I, yeah, I can build another one real quick. You got quick. the toilet seats. Ah! Oh, that's true. We should go to the toilet seats. Those are way better protected. Not only that, but then we're in the right place. And they got a flashy light. <laughs> exactly. All right. Here we go. Into the cockpit. Oh, I can just peek into the... Disco toilet room from here. Is everybody ready for me to start driving? Oh, yes, and we're gonna make it. Oh, I'm being told to check the battery on the bridge to make sure it isn't static. It can't be static. It was built off of a mm. non-static grid. Yeah, and we haven't told it to go static. We'll find out in a second if it is, though. No way. Oh. I wonder if it is. I wonder too. That was too easy. Let's check. Hang on. I'll I'll go check. Okay. Can we get rid of the weather? Yes. So where are the batteries? Uh, the batteries on the the starting side. Uh, it's over here. <laughs> oh, I can just check from here. Yeah, you can check from the pistons too. Large grid, 682. It, you can't convert it to... It has a convert to station thing and it won't let okay. it because it's... Uh, yep, so it's this is mobile. Uh, on my screen, it's blinking convert to yeah. station. Yeah, it's but if it's blinking convert to station, it is a mobile grid that is slightly moving. Yep. But because of our pistons and things that we're resting on, it's actually perfectly stable. Wow. Get across before it rains. <laughs> oh, it listing lazily to the right. A lot. Dick. He's Jeez. driving a little close to the edge there. Hang on. I'm going to get some screenshots of this. Well, yeah, you but you're me. like, you look at how close to the edge you are. You're literally driving off. <laughs> Don't worry about the scenery, Splitzy. You can take pictures later. Can I, though? We'll be off the bridge. I have a bunch of pictures. I'll give you some. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> need to be going right, not left. Right, right, right. Turn right, turn right. It's fine. We're off. I know, <laughs> but... You're pointing the wrong direction. I turned left because well, I needed to pull the trailers so they didn't end up following off the other side of the bridge. We made it! Yay! That's amazing. <laughs> Choose prediction outcome. <laughs> huh. <laughs> we did it. We over-engineered it. As was feared. Like massively over-engineered <laughs> yeah. it. As was the uh, suggestion. <laughs> yep. It wasn't partially over-engineered, just completely it, immobile. It is a perfect <laughs> mobile yet somehow static bridge. 129,000 <laughs> capex coins. Oh wow. man, that's amazing. Incredible. That's just brilliant. Um, should we blow it up? No, I think we should leave it there. 
Oh. What if we but, have to come back? But, but... And there's not much to blow up. What if we grind down the middle so it kind of cantilevers inwards on itself? Well, it's pretty well supported on each side. Yeah, I don't think it's Two gonna... million nine hundred and forty-two thousand four hundred and five teeth go to Resi and 57 others. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea, Tex. I like Tex's idea. It's going to take you a while to grow all those back, Wasted. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're going to have to crumb some Umis. Tex, Tex suggests that we lift it up on one of the pistons to prove that it is mobile. Mm -hmm. I was thinking we should jiggle it around. Um, hold up. If I... the... it, it jiggled at the end. I saw it move. If I do this... Well, if you retract every piston... It should sink a little bit. And then detonate the pillars. <laughs> no, no, no I've, I've got an idea. It'll do what we need it to do. We could drop Sector 7 on the slums. Oh, I see. You're just going to push it wider so it goes up. Uh huh. Oh, boy. Make sure you get all the, the Yetta Newtons. Yada Newtons, whatever they are. Sorry, I'm an American. We still use pounds. <laughs> there it goes. There go. Proof that it is, in fact, not a static grid. Yep. We just really engineered that too well. <laughs> well enough that it's lifting up without uh, moving around as well. Yeah, uh, I know. Like, yeah. I kind of want to reverse back on it again and see whether or not we can lift ourselves <laughs> up on, on the bridge. <laughs> um, I mean, I have a copy of the rover I can throw on there. That'd be hilarious. Can, can I can I please grind it in the middle? I was thinking along the same sort of line, not to be honest. All right, wasted. Um, you stand on one side, I stand on the other, and we'll grind the last piece facing each other. Uh, where are you? There you go. Hello. So we'll leave one of the solar panels in the middle. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Your idea of the middle is an interesting one, but anyway. Oh, I was, whatever. <laughs> Shut up. All right, you ready? Is everybody watching? D, come back. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, what the? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Um, I'm we coming really down. We did over-engineer it. We did. <laughs> it's not even moving on that side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the oh, the, the piston is still extending over here, <laughs> so it is still moving. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it might be something like that, Aaron. Oh, wow. That's... I, oh, I just want to leave no, it there no. like that. No! Uh, wait! Don't do it! Don't do what? Don't do what? I'm on the wrong side and I run out of hydrogen. <laughs> oh, Kapak, you got to try and jump Make it. the jump. Make the jump. Uh, you can I make that jump. Because of the piston, I can't get up hang on, onto hang on, hang on. the Kapak, bridge where are you? on this side. I'm over, this side. I'm over that side with you. I'll build you around. Attract the pistons. No, no, no. I'll just build him a ramp. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, I've probably got the materials I can make for him. There you go. Oh, boy. N Nuptil says this should be the tree, tree memorial bridge. <laughs> Seems fitting. It's only fitting because of how little is left of it. Oh, jeez, there's <laughs> a hole there! <laughs> oh, the way, Kevin, there are some holes in it. Ow! You I didn't did survive that, did you? Little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try and jump it. I think you can easily jump here. Yeah. But that's not so fun. Let's do the high jump. Alright, here we go. I'm jumping it. Three, two, one. Huh. Ow. Where, I died. Where'd you go? I made it, <laughs> but I died. Well. It's tilting a little bit. 
Uh, I don't know how I lived. You, you survived? I love yeah, that Capac survived falling canyon, from up didn't, here didn't to the lie. bottom of the canyon, but Splitsy from one bridge to the next. Dead. <laughs> well, see, there's grass at the bottom, means it's a soft land. Well, it's more mm. like um, alien sponges and goo. Mm. The Capac, are you going to try and jump the bridge again? Nope. No. <laughs> Boring. I just Cap fell back. to the just bottom of the canyon and bro broke both my legs. Get to the, hey, uh, you can make that get bit. Get to though. the driver's seat. Start driving. We'll just leave them here. They can play yeah, the bridge. Yeah, let's go. They can keep messing around with the bridge if they want. We'll get out of here. Go down to that yeah, stop and go get some burritos. Aww. Yeah. All right. Uh, Wasted has to get his stuff before we can start driving a bit further. Should we just get to the ice lake? Yeah, I think we can get to the ice lake. Uh, I mean, I can't see much, but that'll be—that's not out of the usual. Yeah, I the best part that. is Kapak fell through a panel he shot out himself. No, I, I shot I out. Didn't shoot any panels. That was me shooting. Damn. That's a pity. I, I forgot about off bullet a couple drop. of the support legs. I cannot believe how stable we made that thing. That's insanity. That's amazing, yeah. Is it just at such a large scale that space engineers can't work out where it should take damage? That might be it. It's just amazing. Look at that. You just cut that off and it didn't even move. A couple of these downwards facing things are just in the right spot as well, mm. if you know what I mean. If you, yeah. it, I tried It's doing a very good job of, of lever oh. action back against itself. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's now caught on it. the other bridge, though. Now it's supported by the other bridge. Which is holding the weight of the first one. I think we because... leave it like this. This is like post apocalyptic awesome right here. Kind of is. <laughs> and honestly, wasted. When I was shooting the bridge, I was just going to put the holes back that I filled in earlier. So, you know, I felt bad. I was undoing your work. So I redid it. That is just fact amazing. The fact that I got Capac was just a bonus. <laughs> Uh, what? I just cleared it to see whether... <laughs> it got darker when you cleared the weather. I know. <laughs> Stupid magic fog. It's radioactive fog, clearly. Well, I mean, that, that can happen. The fog can, like, trap the light in a bit so that it's actually yeah, it brighter when it's it. foggy yeah. when... The... I'm when really quite disappointed. I thought we were about to get an explanation about how radioactive fog can happen. <laughs> feel very late now. <laughs> Whoa. I think the bridge halves are now snagged on each other in a way that they're not wanting to fall any further. Or, Whoa. nope, they're not even in contact with each other. I say we just leave it. Yep, let's go. All right. Onwards. Has everyone the, collected uh, their stuff from their dead bodies? Yes. Well, I didn't die, so... I yeah. like how it's very, very, very insistent that it will be foggy now. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you clear the weather, I think it brings the same weather back. And the driving we will go. It wasn't perfectly smooth, by the way, Spencer, so careful. Oh, yeah, good point. I think there was still a few crags on this side. It was just better. Yes. <laughs> Dramatically better. Oh, I don't, someone, I don't know someone in my chat says, wow, I don't think I've actually seen the base on the move. <laughs> <laughs> Summary of the last four episodes. <laughs> a little bit. It moved one, of one the, point uh, sideways. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Flopping up. Ooh. What's going on with that? Uh, 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 you. Did someone... Did someone <laughs> turn off the hinges on one side? That was distressing. Well, I see we're driving towards green. Yeah, I think there's an ice lake somewhere vaguely in this direction. Uh... Oh, uh, what the heck? Why is that opening? I don't know. Let me look. Is it reversed compared Why? to the other ones? I think so, maybe. Deploy the oh, wings. Finding Prepare craggies. For takeoff. Have found craggies. Aha! Uh, 
we're gonna have to go down a craggy. Oh no. I figured out what the problem with that that area was. One of the rotors was reversed for some reason. Huh. Uh, how bad is the craggy? Not terrible. Okay. In fact, it's actually pretty flat. On this distance. Yeah, but... it doesn't look too bad. I don't see any, like, big ditches from my vantage point up here on top of the road. It's pretty nice. steep, though. Ooh. Gonna have to probably just keep the speed so we don't do the flip Yep, I'm thing. just the hands off. And there goes another tree. Is it getting foggier? Yeah, it feels like it. Oh, that's a, that's a cliff. That's a cliff in front of us. I can't, I, I don't think I can go any further. <laughs> I don't think I can responsibly uh, do anything from here. Yeah, we might have to wait out this weather. This is kind of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very good call at stopping. Holy crap. Yeah. It's very much the same terrain that killed us the first time. Yeah. So, uh, I think we should wrap it up there. And we can right. attempt to, since we're ready and mobile and the start of the next stream, we can make a whole lot of distance until I crash it again. I mean, we have um, to get the ice, too. Oh, yeah, that too. But that should be fairly simple. We can just I'm working out where we're storing it. Yeah, I've, I've built a whole lot of extra small cargo containers, so we should have a moderate amount of additional space. Are they all on the forward rover to give it a little bit extra oomph? Yes. That's probably the wisest action. Uh, also, I was thinking, perhaps we should store our <laughs> fuel in the form of ice because it doesn't explode. And then we just keep the one small this tank as like the emergency one? It is very I heavy. Would, but I would put forward the idea that we are getting near the end of our journey and heading towards an area where ice actually won't be a concern. So maybe just and don't so we worry might about not need to worry about so much storage because we're about to True. hit the point where we're not traveling deserts and so on. We're traveling mm. mountains where there's snow and ice everywhere. So we can just collect what we can collect and then move on. Yeah, yeah. potentially. I, like I don't that know plan. if I'd call what we're doing uh, traveling mountains. Uh, well, I mean, oh, I can see the ice lake now. Oh, I can too. Oh, should we just get down there then? Well, I don't Is know how to get enough? down there. Uh, okay. I think it's still right that issue. in front of us. Down a cliff. I can see it. Oh! Oh, yes. We're at the edge of it. Oh, yeah. So we are. And the oh, sun's so setting. pretty. Yeah, it is. I love the way the ice reflects this skybox. Was not anticipated, but is welcome. Ice lake, and in the distance, a peak with snow. Oh, yeah. And it's so pretty. Let's do you stop and go. The well, beginning of the end. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. So next week we'll come back to this. Uh, Wasted, what are you up to uh, I will probably do my usual shenanigans of taking a quick wrap-up in creative mode of what happened today. And then tonight we're going to be trying out a mod that Frosty's been trying to get me to test. Whereby uh -huh. we have full, on the pretty much on-the-fly configurable control of how much damage block takes blocks take on a global level and it needs to be tested in multiplayer to see whether or not we can do cool stuff because it's basically going to be hey you want to do a rover event where things don't explode the first time you crash whack this on configure it right off you go or you want to yep. do some tank fighting where guns aren't one shot same sort of deal so we're going to play around with that and maybe even if Remond's around uh, a plugin for TeamSpeak and Space Engineers that enables positional audio in S. Yes! I want, I want, I want, I want so bad. So I want like to do a series radio. with you and Capac and DE and like, I want to do a series like that where we can only hear each other when we're actually near each other or in mm -hmm. radio contact. Yep, uh, and that's, this is an early bones version of something that will do like that using, do something like that using TeamSpeak like Task Force Radio does for armor. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's exciting. That's going to be wild. So that's over at twitch.tv slash wasted space. D, what you got coming? Uh, so this Thursday, I will probably be playing some more This War of Mine, uh -huh. uh, which I played a couple weeks ago, and it's, uh, it's a pretty heavy game, but it's fascinating. And I was, It's a very good game. Uh, I mean, enjoying it isn't quite the word, but yeah, it's it's very good. Um, 
And then Friday, we'll be doing our Space Engineer stuff at 7.30 over on the YouTubes. Uh, and I think we might build our, finish building our gigantic ship that we've been building for like four weeks now because, <laughs> you know, we had decided we weren't going to do a catch-all, do-everything ship, and then sure enough, it's a catch-all, do-everything ship because it's Space Engineers. Uh, and Capac and I will be back tomorrow probably with some more multiplayer of RimWorld. Oh, yeah? Probably. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Have a good night. Bye, again.